My ex has been trying to trap me in a relationship by planning a pregnancy. She faked the pregnancy. Yeah. You now think that maybe your daughter is not yours. I just want to make sure. Um, Did you fake any of these pregnancies? No. You took a DNA test before the show yeah. about your daughter, and she took a lie detector test. You're going to freaking sit there and tell me that you love our daughter, that you're basically denying her because you want a paternity test? You know I've never cheated on you. You told me you cheated. I have never cheated on you! No. I want full custody. Good luck. The way the two of you are acting, both of you should be ashamed of yourself. The only thing that really matters here is that there's a little girl. And I had two knuckleheads on my stage that I raised her. You were given a lie detector test. Did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? What do you think the results are? Um. That she lied? <laughs> Your behavior as a mother is despicable. The way and you act. Welcome to the show. My guest is Dennis. Dennis, why are you here? Uh, my ex has been trying to trap me in a relationship by planning a pregnancy. Because I met her for the first few months I met her, you know, I, we got pretty serious and I told her I've always wanted a kid, you know. And I guess she stopped taking birth control and got pregnant, so I stayed with her. How long have you dated this woman? About two years so far, on and off, since the beginning. You know. And in the beginning of the relationship, you said she got pregnant and she didn't tell you about it? Well, she, she told me about it. She told me that she was pregnant and stuff, you know, because she wanted me to stay with her. She knows I was raised to do the right thing. I proposed to her she didn't want to do that. She knows I would stay with her and try to work it out, even though it was on and off. After we got an apartment, you know, a year and a half later, she tells me she planned my daughter and she planned, you know, So she one. got pregnant and she, you had a baby girl with her? Yes. Back up, yeah. And so then now things aren't working out and you break up with her? Yeah, for about six months now, you know, we've been off because it's been on off the whole time. It's finally off. Well, if it's finally off, how did she get pregnant? It, she's about six months along now. So, you know, about six months ago. Was the last time you slept with her? Yeah, six and a half months ago, you know, I did. And then two weeks after that, she slept with another guy. And we How do you know she slept with another guy? She told me. That part I don't understand is if she's trying to hold on to you, Yeah. how is she trying to hold on to you by saying, I slept with another guy? That doesn't seem like it would work. I don't know like why she told work. me that. I mean, I, I told her I caught her. And, you know, someone told me that she slept with him, and she admitted to it. And then she told me the truth about a whole bunch of other lies. So... And then a couple of weeks later, you find out that she's pregnant? Yeah. The, well, what happened, you know, she told me she planned my daughter back on, she's pregnant again. And then five, six months goes by, she's pregnant with a boy. Three weeks later, she says she's three weeks pregnant. I'm like, how are you three weeks pregnant? She says, the last four months of my pregnancy, I lost a boy and didn't even tell you. She texts me and says, I'm in the ER. Our son don't have a heartbeat. I'll talk to you later. She didn't even care. She didn't call. Nothing. She texted you that message. She texted me that. Our boy doesn't have a heartbeat. She, she told me that. And she wasn't even pregnant at that time. She was just lying okay. about it. She faked the pregnancy. Yeah. She told you she was pregnant. She wasn't. You didn't lose a baby, right? I was hurt. I felt it. I thought I did, but she told me after. Okay, right. Yeah. But then you found out that it, the whole story was fabricated. Yeah. Now she's pregnant now? She says she is. I don't believe her. She told me she is pregnant now about six months now, and she told me the other guy, she did a DNA test with him. And she says it's mine, but I'm told you can't even do a DNA test until the baby's born, you know? Until, unless something's wrong with the baby, which there's nothing wrong. She just says that she tested with this guy. She never showed me any paperwork, nothing like that. And so she's pregnant now? She, yeah, she says she is, yeah. Well, yeah. six months. Yeah. She's got to be showing, right? I haven't seen nothing, no. You haven't seen, she just looks normal? I haven't seen no, yeah, she looks normal to me. I haven't seen no papers saying she's pregnant. I didn't see no papers for a DNA test. And so why are you here today? I want to find out if Becca's mine. If she's even mine, because your daughter, my daughter. Now yeah. you have doubts, and how old is your daughter? <sighs> you have to think I, about it. I know how old she is. How she old is she? She was born in November, 07. 
Okay. So she's one and a half years old. You, I, I don't even know her, and I figured it out that fast. Yeah. How, yeah, how yeah. is you the father? You don't. I, that kind of makes me wonder about you. How you don't know how old your daughter is? But that's because you know every month I would know how old she is, and I get to keep her, and I haven't got to see her lately, so I am thinking about you know keeping track of it. That's all. I, I just think that's kind of odd. Now you're questioning whether you're the father of your little girl. I just want to make sure so I can get full custody of my daughter. I want to take care of her. And what if you're not the father? If she let me, I will take full custody, you no? Know? You'll still take full custody. I want full custody. I love my daughter. <laughs> I, I got her name on my arm last week. You got a name tattooed on your arm? So my question to you is, why, if things are going bad, and why are you staying with her? Well, what happened, you know, the first month she got pregnant, I was trying to figure out, you know, if it was going to work or if it wasn't going to work. She got pregnant, and, you know, I, I want to do the right thing. I told her, you know, we'll get married, and she's like, no, I don't want to do that. I said, well, I'll stay with you. I want to work it out. Okay, again, I don't understand that. If she's trying to trap you into the relationship. I didn't know it at that time, though. Oh, she later admitted that. A longer... A way after Becca was way born, after. yeah. I didn't find out till way later. But if she wanted to, you to be in this relationship and you asked her to marry her, why wouldn't she just marry you then? I have no idea. She's... One minute she wants to be with me, the next minute she doesn't... Do you love sense, her? You know? Do you love her? I don't. Not anymore, no. You're going to freaking sit there and tell me that you love our daughter? That you're... Basically denying her because you want a paternity test? You know I've never cheated on you! You told me you cheated on I you. have never cheated on you! You were given a lie detector test. Did you fake pregnancies to try and keep down What do you think the results are? Um. Do you think she loves you? I think she does, yeah. Is she, is she a good mother to your daughter? Most of the time, yeah. What's she, she's never there for her. She's never there for her. Yeah. She works double shifts. She chooses to. She does not have to. And she doesn't even see her for a whole day. Then she goes to the bar with her <laughs> at night. Almost every night she's telling me, you know, because that's where they worked or something. She doesn't even put Becca to bed. When I have her, from the moment she wakes up, Every moment of every day, I sit on the floor with her from the moment she wakes up. And I don't take a shower or nothing until she takes her nap. You know, I spend every moment I can with her. Because I love her. So you, say, you would say that you're a good father then, right? Yeah. I've given her everything. And how often do you get to see your daughter? <laughs> up until... Two weeks ago, it was, you know, every week, four days a week, every week I would get to see her. She finds out I'm talking to a girl, you know. A few weeks ago, I was talking to a girl because I want to be happy. She said, you ever talk to a girl again, you are never seeing Becca. I'm going to get child support against you. They're going to take your car away and everything else. As emotional as you just got about the way you care for your daughter, you must miss your daughter incredibly then. Every day. And she, she said, I'm keeping your baby away from you because you're dating other women. So you, she, you're not supposed to ever be with anybody ever again? No, because she wants to be with me. And you now have serious doubts because you found out that a lot during the relationship she's been lying, that she's been sleeping with other men, that you now think that maybe your daughter is not yours. I'm positive she is but I just want to make sure you, you just know, want to make sure and you believe do you believe she's pregnant by you now I don't know but you believe she's pregnant no I don't why would why would she lie about being pregnant I mean that's a pretty serious lie she <laughs> you don't know half the things she's lied about I understand Dennis that you think that she's a liar but all these times of maybe pregnant, maybe not, lying about it, cheating, sleeping, five times telling you that she's pregnant, 
why do you why would you keep sleeping with her keep sleeping with her keep sleeping with her um, I'm explaining it the first time she was pregnant and had the abortion I'm like well I don't agree with that and stuff and then I'm the second to, time you had a baby no the, the second time that she said she was pregnant was like a week later when I was trying to tell her, you know, this is not working. She tells me she's pregnant. I'm like, you know, okay, well, I will stay. We'll figure it out. Then she says she had a miscarriage a few weeks after that. I'm like, you know, I'm consoling her. I wanted to stay with her for a while, make sure she was okay. And did you see any paperwork or no, anything? Never, nothing. And the third time was only like a month later. I'm consoling her and stuff, you know. A month later, she's pregnant with Becca. I said, okay, well, we're going to do this right, and you're actually going to keep it. She told me, I'm going to keep it. I know you always wanted a kid, you know. She kept her, and she was at her mom's. I was at my mom's, and, you know, we worked, tried to work it out and stuff, and it was working, and, you know, I, I, I listened to my daughter's heartbeat, went to the hospital with her every time and all that stuff. That's when we got the apartment. Then she just comes home one day like, I planned Becca so you'd stay with me because now I got everything here, you know, and I'm pregnant again with a boy. I told her, that's it. I'm not going to be with her anymore. If she, you know, that's how she is. And I said, well, if, you're, if that's you, I'm not going to be with you, but I will support, you know, I will support the kids. I will do everything it takes. Then she's going to tell me that text. And then she texted you saying, I'm at the hospital. Our boy's heartbeat is gone. And for the last four months, she's lied about it. We had sex unprotected. When she said she wasn't pregnant with the boy, I thought she was. You know, I, she can't get pregnant if she's pregnant. So, and then she sleeps with this other guy. <laughs> that makes sense, you know? I guess so. <laughs> but you know. Then she sends me that, and like a week after the text. That's or great two. birth control. She's pregnant already. <laughs> you took a DNA test before the show yeah. about your daughter. Yes, I did. And she took a lie detector test concerning whether she's been lying about all these things. You were given a lie detector test. Did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? What do you think the results are? Um. That she lied? Your behavior as a mother is despicable. The and way you act. You're here today to talk to Kendall, confront her. Let's bring her out. You're gonna freaking sit there and tell me that you love our daughter, that you're basically denying her because you want a paternity test? You know I've never cheated on you. You told me you cheated I on me. I have never cheated on you. You told me you did. Bull, Everybody did. Bull, that I is love my daughter. Crap. Spend every moment of every day with her. Really? I want every full moment custody. of every day. Yes. Really? So when do you work? I have well, a job. Do, but what are your hours? Nine to five. She's in my house more than she is yours. Not anymore. Especially yeah, my not house. Anymore. Because you're denying our beautiful daughter. You don't even I'm know how old her? she is. Why she turned think? 17 months yesterday. Why do you think I'm here? Because I want full custody. You're not going to I want to see my daughter. Good luck. You, you don't let me see her because you want me. Just because I won't be with you because I talked to another girl is the reason you're keeping her from me. I told you that you're because I, I want choose you another to girl sign. Over her. I want you to sign your rights away. I don't I'm want you to do that. You cheated on me. No, I didn't because we were not together as of the end of July. We lived together. We had sex. We talked. We slept if in the I same room correctly, with our daughter. If I remember correctly, I'm a man and I have needs. <laughs> How the freak can you pers possibly even think that I'm just going to be like, yeah, here, see her, after what you just sat there and said? I still don't think she's mine because I can't trust you. Thank she you. You just denied her, Dennis. Connect the dots. Denying is saying I do not want and, her. And you I might want to work on your math. Because I got pregnant two months after we started dating because you said it's better without a condom. Never was on birth control. You I, were on birth control. I never got on birth control until after I had Becca. I can't even tell you the birth control, but I won't. You know, at, at first I'm thinking, oh, you're crying. You seem like a nice guy. And then it, you kind of figure it out. You're both nuts. <laughs> I
I mean, how did how did you two manage to stay together as long as you did? She was pregnant, and I wanted to. But the right she wasn't pregnant for a year and a half. <laughs> She's pregnant so much that she was. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times since I met her she was pregnant. <laughs> Since I met her, she was pregnant. I still like your line of, well, if she's pregnant, she can't get pregnant. <laughs> but I forgot I got pregnant all by myself. Didn't when you? Are you, when, are you pregnant now? No. You're not? You're not pregnant now. <laughs> no. You I, what? I had an abortion two weeks ago. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You, Why would I want to have a kid with you when you don't want to be with me? That's all you... Explain to me why I would want to have a kid with somebody who doesn't want to be with me. I, I guess you wouldn't. I'm not going to lie. A I did plan Becca and... There I'm, how why many, would I, how I'm many not months pregnant it. were you? Um, four. You were four months pregnant? And you aborted the baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. At four months? Yes. It's legal up to six months in the state of Michigan. And why did you, why did you make that decision? Because after trying to work things out with him and just try to be with him to be a family, it just didn't work. And I didn't want to bring another kid into this world that, that we're going to do this over, that we're going to fight and argue. Did you do the DNA test on that one when you were pregnant that you told me you did? Yes, I did. Where's the papers? At my house. You never we're showed not to together. me? Well, you, hold on a second. You, the, he is the father of your, your daughter, right? Yes. And you become pregnant again, and you're four months pregnant, and you didn't even consult him what the decision that you're making? He, I texted him. She didn't tell did me you she consult did him? I didn't know did until you this ask? I told him I was pregnant, and I said, what do you want me to do? It's your body. You make that choice. No, it's I did exactly not say what that. Said, and you texted me that. He said, I'm getting abortion. I said, no, have the baby. I can't stop you, but I want you to have the baby, we, you know? But and why? Aside from the fact that it's against your beliefs, why? That's why, because it's against why, my beliefs. That's why will you keep getting pregnant? Just because we slept together. I didn't. I know how people get pregnant. <laughs> but I want to know how you could take it so, you know, you're so cavalier about ending a child's life. And, you know, that's everybody's personal decision. But it, I think it would have more impact on you than what you're showing. Did you lie about losing the other boy? No, I did lose him. So you're but saying you were him, pregnant? I lost him sooner, and it was wrong of me because I should have told him as soon as I found out, which I didn't. And that is, I, I accept responsibility for that. She pretended to be pregnant for four months. No, not four after months. After she lost him, she told me. Were you pregnant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we had slept together um, in end of February. And, um, Did you fake any of these pregnancies? No. So every time you were pregnant, you didn't fake any of them? No. Did you tell him that he can't see his daughter if he starts dating somebody else? Yes. Well, why would you do that? I was hoping he would sign her over. Why? Okay. Uh, you asked me, I'm going to be honest with no, you. No, I, I understand I that, mean, but why, why would he sign over the rights, first of all? He says he loves his daughter. He shows emotion over his daughter. Why would he sign over his rights? Why would you want him to sign over the rights? You're saying you want child custody, you know, uh, I don't uh, child, want child support. support from him anymore. If he'll sign it, I just, I don't I'm not want. Sign over. I just, basically, I don't want him in her life. I want him to move on. Why? She wants to hurt me. That's all. <sighs> why wouldn't you want him? If he's the father of your child, why wouldn't you want him in your daughter's life? Because I don't like the way that he is with her. He I doesn't like the way you are. She told me because she can't stand to be around me when she drops her off and picks her up because she likes me so much is why she doesn't. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you told our producers that the dog ate the DNA? No, I didn't. <laughs> what do you think he was all talking about? Um. That she lied? This is your daughter we're talking about. This is this is somebody you brought into the world, and you're acting this way with each other, whether you like this. If really, you're you're both mad at each other. 
and maybe you don't like each other, but you really need to look at yourselves and see the way you're acting. This is your beautiful daughter. This is how you treat each other. You see the way the two of you are acting? Both of you, both of you should be ashamed of yourselves. You know, you keep saying how bad she is, but you kept sleeping with her, kept sleeping with her. And because you were a good guy? No, you were doing it because you wanted to have sex with her. That's why you kept doing it. <laughs> and, and you're saying, this is the father, but I don't want him in life because I don't like him. I don't want him in my daughter's life. I mean, really, he's not doing anything terrible to you. He ain't beating you. He, ain't, he, he didn't leave you. He, he's, he wants to go on with his life, and because if he wants to go on with his life, then he doesn't get to see his daughter. Well, what, what kind of reasoning is that? You know who you're hurting? You're hurting your daughter. You're, you, you, yeah, you're hurting him, but you're also hurting her. <laughs> I'm serious now. I'm not trying to be mean to you, but why are you acting like a 15-year-old high school girl? Be, I just don't think that he'd be a good role model or a father for her. I really but don't. But that's not your decision. You, uh, ha you, really? ma you made a decision to have a baby with him. Maybe that's the decision you should have made before you had a child. <laughs> to me, it sounds like Maybe you don't, you're, not, you're keeping your daughter away because you still love him. You still want to oh, be with him. I'm not saying that I don't love him. Well, do but you love him? A, yes. I always will love him. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Put all the, the pettinesses aside and, and, and think about your daughter. What's, what's, I mean, that's what you have to do as a parent. What's best for my child? You, you say you were pregnant, mm -hmm. and you say you had an abortion a couple of weeks ago. Was... Was he the father, or you don't know, or is I there a chance? I only slept, what happened was is that um, I slept with a week after I'd slept with Dennis, but I was not sure who the dad was. But Dennis and I weren't together when that happened. So, yeah. um, and then. But he um, could have been the father? Who? The guy. The other guy. Yes. So, yeah. and he well, how about if? Well, no, here's no. my question. If he could have been the father, why wouldn't you at least have a chance to find out if this this baby was his. I didn't, I, I tested him. You tested the baby? Yeah. But you're it saying. It came back negative on him, so the only other person I'd slept with was Dennis, so I just assumed. I, I get 50, but if it was, 50, one so out. If, if he was the father, would you have kept the baby? If the other guy was? Yeah. No. So you had no, no intention of keeping any baby, no matter who the father was? When, when, um, I found out that I was pregnant, and I told him, we talked about it, we were trying to work things out. So I was like, okay, you know what, we'll work it out, we'll have another baby. And then when everything went down again, that's when I made the decision. I had the test because he had asked me to do the test. I had the test when him and I were still together. Did you ask her to have a test? I did. And I paid for it out of my own pocket, or else you I You said that you didn't believe that she had the test, and... You didn't know anything I, about this I don't this believe test. she did it. I, I have a question, actually, real quick. Can, can you can ask any question you want. Did you have an amniotosis on the ba last baby? No. So I'm told the only way that you can get a DNA... It's called an amniocentesis. Did you get that? <laughs> yes. Okay, then. <laughs> Why'd you get it? Because that's the way you have to do it. They poke a needle about this long into your stomach to I know how they do it, and they fluid. only do it if something's wrong with the baby. They don't, not yes, if you pay. Do. Oh, where do you get the black market or something? Because they're yeah, not going to do it, it. They got, unless they something's got those wrong with tests the baby. On the black market. They're not going to do it unless something's wrong with the baby. That's not true. Yeah. Why would they endanger a baby? Because that's a it is it is that's a, a risky. very serious procedure just to determine who the father is. He wanted it. They're not. I was trying to make him happy. You were trying to make him happy, so you put your baby at risk. I weighed the risks, and they told me that. Why, if you had no intention of keeping the baby, why even have the test? I was going to until we were not together anymore after the very last time. What do you think the results are? That she lied? <laughs> Your behavior as a mother is despicable.
You admit that you got pregnant just to keep him. Yes, with that guy I did, yes. You needed to get pregnant and have a baby to trap him. It's I'm just trying to be perfectly clear no, on this. Yes, yes. I'm not going to deny it because I know I, I did it. I mean, there's, I'm not saying it, but I know. I think if you would have just said, hey, you want to have sex, he would have stayed. <laughs> You still want to be with him? Uh, I do not. Would you like to work things out with him? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to. Why lie about it? Well, I'm just asking you. <laughs> okay. You were given a lie detector test, and you were asked, did you fake pregnancies to try and keep Dennis? Were you pregnant at all during the last year? Did you have a DNA test done while you were four months pregnant? What do you think the results are? Um. That she lied? Well, you'd be wrong. Only because she refused to answer the questions. <laughs> I could tell you why. Well, yeah, tell me why. Because I was lied to. You were lied to. I was told the reason why I was going to come on here first off from him was try to resolve our issues. The second time was to determine fraternity with Becca and um, if I'd ever cheated on him. That was why I was com came here. I didn't yeah, realize I was here. You need to get along. So Wouldn't it be fair to know hurt. if you faked any of the pregnancies? Wouldn't it be fair to know if you were just recently pregnant? And wouldn't it be fair to let him know if you actually had a DNA test on your baby? Wouldn't That's it be fair just to answer those questions? And that private yeah like I said I wasn't aware of that that that's what was going to be discussed these are the issues he had with you but nobody told me that and I didn't know he had those issues I'm not so you didn't feel the need to prove that you weren't lying yeah so I'm, I'm gonna assume by human nature that you did fake pregnancies that you weren't pregnant during the last year and that there was no DNA test done okay that's that's what I believe you can't produce any paperwork that you were pregnant, were you, can you? If I went home. If you went home. We asked you for it and you didn't provide it, right? Um, they asked me for the DNA test, that was it. Did you bring and that? did you provide it? No, because I told them I wasn't going to talk about it, which, hello. You told our producers that the dog ate the DNA? No, I didn't. <laughs> You, no, you did tell our producer that the dog ate the DNA test result. No, I didn't. You didn't? Would you be willing to take a lie detector test on it? <laughs> no. No. I don't have anything to prove to anybody. You won't take the test? No. Okay. So I'm going to assume that Fine. you did tell our producer that. But you were responsive to a few questions. After the birth of your daughter, did you get pregnant on purpose? No. Are you keeping your daughter away from Dennis because he would not be with you? No. But you already admit it, you, you, you just, are. You just said that. <laughs> what? Wait. I know, when you start lying, it's kind of hard to keep track of them. <laughs> You told us that you were keeping your daughter away from him because he was starting to see another girl. And I've never been on a date since I've not been with you because of that. You had a girlfriend. No, I have not. Who you but you, you said 10 minutes ago, yeah, you're keeping your daughter away from him because he wants to see other girls. I don't, I, okay. No, that's what you said. I could take a lie detector test. <laughs> Besides one time, did you cheat on Dennis during your relationship? That's not the question I was asked. What question were you asked? I was asked, aside from had I ever cheated on Dennis, and I said no. Does it even matter, these results? It doesn't matter. You're, you're, you're a liar. <laughs> so you don't need to 
the results when you establish on stage that you're a liar. Did it say that I cheated on him? No, I want to know. Because if that's true, that's, that know. is that's Well, I want to know if you told my producer your dog ate your DNA test. <laughs> no, I didn't. You want answers, I want answers. Were you pregnant in the past year? Yes. You were? Yes. Why wouldn't you answer on the lie detector test? Because it, oh. You come out here and talk about it, but that you talked about Having the DNA I test, was told you we talked weren't gonna about, talk about it. But you did talk Your about it. Your producers lied to me. They didn't lie to you. Yes, you they lied did. to them. No. You're the one. Nobody forced you to come out here just now and talk about whether you were pregnant. Nobody, you could have said, no, I don't want to talk about it. You talked about it. You talked about it with him. You've been talking about it freely up here. So why do you have an issue with it? What, did we trick you into talking about it? No. So what the hell? You couldn't answer the damn question? You, you demand answers from me? The only thing that really matters here is that there's a little girl. And I got two knuckleheads on my stage that are raising her. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at this result, and I don't know whether it's good or bad for you. You know, I'm looking at this result, and I don't know whether it's good or bad for you. You are the father. <laughs> no, no, that's that's wonderful. That's fine. You want to take me off stage? That's fine. I just want to go get my daughter. You know what? No, you know what? That an act of violence. An act of violence. I want to see my daughter. Take me no, you to know my what? daughter. You know what? You're just, to him. You know what? Your behavior as a mother is despicable. The way you, you I, I may be, my but you know what? I don't go slapping my wife around. I don't go just treating the no, father. Stop. I don't stop. bring stop. me my daughter. This is we'll bring you. Stop. You could go, but you know what? What you're doing out there and the way you're behaving, your daughter when she grows up someday is going to be ashamed that you act the way you do, the way you lie about things, you you the way you don't value human life. It's so, oh, it's just a joke to tell people they're it a is, father. It's a joke. It's hilarious. Or they're going to have a baby and you're not pregnant. It's hysterical. Why? How did you, how did you become this way? Seriously, what happened to your life? I don't think I'm that way. The way you act, the way you lie, the way you, so, so petty. This, you, you bring children into the world with men that you can't stand. Why? When are you going to wake up and realize what you're doing? What am I doing? I mean, really, what am I doing? Besides constantly lying? I don't. You, you, you lied on my stage. I don't think I did. No, you did. OK, fine. I'll and lie. I think you're lying. Listen, I think you're lying to Dennis. And listen, I understand. Maybe you're hurt. Maybe you want to be back together with him. But you're playing a dangerous game. You're playing a dangerous game. I don't want you to be storming out here and be mad and continue on the path that you're going down. That's not going to be healthy for you. That's not going to be healthy for Dennis. That's not going to be healthy for your daughter. You seriously have to start acting like a grown-up. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm telling you the truth. Your daughter needs somebody stable in her life. I'm very stable with my daughter. Don't you say might, I'm not. Listen. I'll, I'll give you that benefit. Maybe you are. I haven't seen, I don't live around you to see how you act. But I see how you're acting on that stage. And I see how you're acting with the father of that child. And that's not stable. You need to start being honest with yourself. And you need to start being honest with the father of that baby. Do you believe that Dennis loves your daughter? I believe he did. And why, why all of a sudden would he stop? I think he loved her when I first had her, and I think since then, over time, he just basically sees her as something that he has to take care of. It sounds like he's hurt because you're not letting him see the baby, and you admitted that on stage. You did say that. I said that I asked him if he was going to date anybody else. He couldn't see her because I want him to sign his parental rights over.
But That's what, why. But listen, That's the only reason why I said it. Listen, he's not, no, no man. Why would anybody want him to sign over his rights? If that's his daughter and he loves her, he's not going to sign over his rights. Then why would he even, why would he accuse me of cheating when I've been nothing but faithful to him and then say that she's not his? Maybe the guy's hurt. That hurt the hell out of me. Do you realize everything I've ever done for him? When we were living together and not together, I made sure he had clean clothes. I did his laundry. I made sure when he got home from work, there was a dinner. I packed his lunch. I made sure he was up in time for work. I would make sure he had stuff so he could take a shower, brush his teeth. I made sure our apartment was clean. I took care of our daughter. But yeah, I was a liar. I was a I was hateful. I was mean. I forgot he's a saint. He's never done anything wrong. He's never, when I was pregnant, say, you're fat. You're not attractive in those pants. You need to wear something else. Well, here's, that's exactly what I've been saying on stage for the last hour. Why stay with this guy? Why because keep getting I, pregnant with him? Because you're, you're saying he's calling him. you fat and everything else, and he's, he does, he's accusing you of lying and cheating. You, I, I, you, you say you love, but what's the love if he's treating you like that? I just loved him. You slapped him. When you found out the results, is it because you don't want him to be the father? Why did you hit him? Because he even doubted it. I was angry and I was, I was kind of... Maybe I he... just wanted to take my anger may, out on him. Maybe he's taking his anger out because you told him you slept with this other guy. We weren't together. He told me I could do whatever I wanted. Okay. It's time people say each other. You obviously still have a lot of deep feelings for this guy. He obviously has deep feelings for you. It's pretty obvious. You're playing a kid's game with each other. I was going to be nice and see if he wanted to see Becca. I was going <laughs> to... I was just going to be like, after the show, if you want to see her, you can. And now I don't even know if I should. Because he thinks it's a game. He thinks it's funny. But you're, bo but you're both playing it. You're both playing the game. And you both need to stop playing it. That's the thing. Why not act like adults and, and let him let him go out there and say, come see our daughter. Go out there and tell him he can come see his daughter. If you want to see Becca, you can see her. I want to see her, yeah. Do you want to see her now? Hold on a second. Your mom's here? Let's bring your mom up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sorry I hit you. Again? What? Again? Kendall, the only reason I brought you to this show today is because you always lie to us. You, you're hurting me. You're hurting the grandparent. I love that baby girl. And Dennis loved that baby girl. We are not denying her being his. The only reason we had that done, the only reason we had that done is so we could get partial custody because we want you to be in her life too, even if we get custody. You're not. Well, we'll see about that, but. You won't. I know Dennis has his faults. You have your faults. I have worked on trying to get you guys back together. You know that. She told me she never wanted kids. Do you know that? I didn't, I didn't listen, want listen, kids, but haven't I didn't Haven't we know. moved past the he said, she said stuff yeah. now? You, you do need Hold to move on. Hold on a second. On. Hold on. And at least she was big enough to come back out here and, and, was, and says, you want to see your daughter. I do. Now, you need to be bigger than that about what she said to you a year and a half ago. You've got to be bigger than that now. Too much. Too long on to my daughter still. Listen, she obviously still loves you, would like to be with you. But if you're saying that can't be, then that can't be. But then if you don't want to be with her, there's no need to bring up old wounds. You're not trying to work it out anymore, right? Okay, so then whatever she did wrong, let it go. I know it hurts, and this is a hurtful situation, but you're, you're the grandmother here. Yeah, and it's hurting me more than anybody, I think. Right, but you know what? she's not even talking but you to know me. What? But you know what? Here's the deal. He's at fault here, too. Well, I understand that. They're both at fault. But he comes to talk to me about it. He's your son. I understand that. She's not your daughter. She used to come to me when she lived with me for two years.
She used to come please, to me. She please, used to call me mom. Please tell me that you're mature enough to know that when couples break up, maybe she's not going to be that close to you anymore. Well, I understand that, but she well, still called me mom two months ago. Okay. She's angry. That made me think that the, she was still mature enough to talk to me. She is in love with your son, and he doesn't want to be well, with Well, I know her. that, but how can you be in love with somebody and sit there and treat him like that? Oh, Lord. You're going to sit there and ask him to give up paternity just so you don't have to see him? Why don't she give up paternity and let him get out of the custody? I really thought by bringing you out that this would be a good thing, that you would be the voice of reason, that you would add some mature guidance to the situation, but that's obviously not the case. So you can go and go backstage. Be respectful, be kind to the mother of your child, and you do the same to him. Let's go. Every time you go see your daughter now, you think about what's best for her and not your own feelings. You understand? Yeah. Go see your daughter. Becca, hi, honey, come here. Hi. Okay, look who's here. Look who's here is Daddy. Becca. Say hi, Daddy. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Hi, Daddy. Where's Daddy? Can you show Daddy where your nose is? You don't like the cameras. Where's your nose? I'm here to get answers. I'm 24. I've never seen my dad. I just found out that he raped my mom. I had just had a baby, and I tried to explain to him that I, I couldn't do that. And I looked down the hallway, and he was shaking Danny. He shook me when I was two weeks old. Were you drinking? Alcohol had nothing to do with it. Do you have doubts that your mom has told the truth? But I got angry. Your father took a lie detector test. Your mother took a lie detector test. In that time of 24 years, did you ever make an effort to see your son? No, because every time. Okay, well, then stand up while you tell the rest of your story. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Danny. And Danny, why did you call the show? Well, Steve, I'm 24. I've never seen my dad. Uh, I just recently found out that he raped my mom, and he shook me when I was two weeks old. And you, you know, I'm here to get answers. I want, I want to know why he did it. So you basically have never met your father. No. And who has told you that your father did this? My mom. And all these years, no contact at all. Your dad never picked up the phone, called you up. When I was, it, she told, she said that we used to talk. We used to talk all the time when I was like real, real little. I and you have remember. no memories of that? No. And so, how old are you now, Danny? I'm 24. You're 24, uh, you're in a relationship, you have a daughter? Yes. And you're going out with your life, you're a grown man now. Yes. But this still bothers you with your, your dad? Yes. And when, when was it that you, your mom told you that he raped her, that he picked you up and he shook you? Uh, I was 20 when she had told me. I didn't want to believe her because he's my dad. But I wanted to believe believe my mom. I wanted to believe her because she wouldn't lie to me some that serious. She wouldn't lie to me about it. What and what was the reason that you were told all those years growing up that your dad wasn't in your life? We just, just divorced or you know. My mom said they were divorced. And they, they that was along. that was it. Did, what what did you know about your father growing up? The only thing I knew about him was he was an alcoholic and he was in the military. So your mom said, oh, he's in the military yeah. and he's got a problem with booze. Yeah. Do you have doubts that your mom has told the truth? No, I don't have any doubts. So you believe that she, would never, she wouldn't lie to you about she something She wouldn't like lie this. to me about something this serious, no. Now, before the show, I, I guess your father is here. He took a lie detector test. Your mother took a lie detector test before the show, whether these allegations are true. What if it came back and your mom didn't pass? Then I'm going to be very angry. Because you don't, that's, why would she lie to me like that? You ever tell your mom, you know what, I've never met my father, I'd like to. Do you have any information on him? I'd like to 
go see my father, pick up the phone and, and call him and just talk to him? She, did, she didn't have no, no information on him. She had she no way to contact him. him. I've, looked for, I've looked for him on the internet. I've called all over California. And until I stopped looking for him. I mean, I lost hope thinking I was never going to see him again until the show called me back and said, hey, we found, we found your dad, your father. And then I... Do you want your father in your life? Hopefully he's changed. And yeah, but I'm, I mean, you I mean, you really don't even know. I mean, you've really, you have no recollection of the man. Why is it so important for you to meet him? I, I want to know, I want to know who he is. You want to see the sun that you haven't seen in 24 years? My heart's beating like a freight train right now. Would you like to go see a paramedic? Did you shake your son, Daniel, and you answered no? And the result of your lie detector test is... All right, well, Danny, I got to imagine this is going to be a, a big day for you one way or the other. You're 24 years old, never seen your father. Today you're going to get to see him, but before you do, I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. I'm going to talk to your father, and then I'll bring you back out. Okay. All right, here's uh, Danny's father that he hasn't seen his entire life. Let's bring out Steve. How you doing, Steve? Hey, good. Um, you haven't seen your son since he was two, two weeks, weeks old. old. And during these next 24 years, you ever make an effort to see your son? I... It's a real simple question. Phone calls? In the last I made, 24, I no, I'm not asking about phone calls. I'm asking a real simple question. In that time of 24 years, did you ever make an effort to see your son? No, because every time... Okay, well, then stand up while you tell the rest of your story. <laughs> and, w and why haven't you made an effort in 24 years? Because it's either I moved around or they moved around. When I found out where they were at, they, and I tried contacting them again, they were never at that same spot or... You know, or I'm moving around, going, uh, uh, going to my deployments because I was in the Marine Corps, so I, I had to leave every, for every six months to go overseas, and I had no other no other way of, tr of trying to get a hold of him. So you didn't keep track of where your family was at. Every time I did, they 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 relocate or something else. And she went and tell you, okay, I'm here now. The last time I heard, they were in Michigan. And when was that? Ten years ago. So the last time you heard anything about, and you were married to this woman or no? Yes. Oh, you were married to her? Yes. And so you're married, you have a boy, and all this, things fall apart, you end up getting divorced, right? Yeah. And, she divorced me. And, okay, it happens. Last, last ten years, you heard once, ten years ago, that they might be in the state of Michigan. You yeah. pay child support all these years? Yeah. You didn't know where the check was going? Well, she got help from the state of Michigan because I couldn't afford to pay it. You were Because I was either not working or, or I was laid off or, or How whatever. long did you do in the military? What's that? How long were you in the military I was for? In, I was in active duty five years and the rest was reserve time. Okay, so you were, you were on, in the Marines for five years, traveling about, but after five years, you came back and you pretty much can live where you want, right? Yeah. You're not going on deployment after you're no. not on active duty anymore, nope. right? Why didn't you track down your son? Because I didn't know where they were at. You didn't know where they were at? No. You know, part of the reason is your ex-wife tells your son the reason why you're not in his life, the reason why she didn't want to be with you is because at two weeks old, the last time you saw him, you picked up your two-week-old son and you violently shook him and that you also raped her. False accusations. I was brought up better than that. I know better than that. I'm not no stupid. I, you know, I know better than that. So you're saying no way in hell you shook your baby? Nope. No way in hell you nope. forced yourself upon your wife? Nope. 
Why would she say these things? I have no idea. No idea? Nope, because... Married, you have a son, all this happens, no idea. No idea. And, again, people that you bring into this world, you've been out of their life for 24 years. Does it, does it bother you at all that you have a son that you've missed his whole childhood? Yeah, it does. I, not one day and I don't go by, I don't, I don't think about him. I didn't even know about the accusations until he got a hold of you. So what did you think was causing you to be away from your son all this time? If you didn't even know about the accusations until this show, why would you think, well, what's the reason I'm not in my son's life? Because, I don't know. I, I, I oh, can't answer Oh, come on. Who says that? <laughs> I was robbed. No, okay? hold on, hold on a second. It's like me. I'm, I have a little boy. And if 20 years, all of a sudden my wife divorces me, and I don't know why I don't hear about accusations or allegations, and 20 years would go by, and my son's not in my life, and I don't see him. And one day he's 24. And somebody would ask me, well, why haven't you seen your son? Why hasn't, why hasn't he been in your life? And I'd say, I don't know. I don't know. Money. My only son? My only son? 20 years? I'm going to miss his whole childhood? And at the end of those 20 years, I won't have an answer? I don't know. You say you're because not stupid? I didn't have the... You say answers like that, you just prove yourself wrong. No. I didn't have the money. I'll be right back. For a moment, you were going to run out the door. Your son's not behind that door. Did you shake your son, Daniel, and you answered no? And the result of your lie detector test is? My well, heart's beating like a freight train right now. Would you like to go see a paramedic? You were a Marine and you didn't fight to be spend see one day in your son's life? I find that hard to believe. What kind of Marine were you? Not a very good one, I guess. I guess not either. It's because being a Marine is a very, I'm very proud to be in the Marines. I've been in the Marines. It's a thing that I always look back and I, I feel good about that I did something with my life. But I also know that a lot of things that they taught me that I was in there for stays with me this very day. It will never leave me. And certainly not fighting for your family, fighting for your son. <laughs> One of the things we've been told is that you're a drunk. Is that true? No. So alcohol never came into play with the nope. cause of some of your problems? No. Nope. Alcohol never had a, a role in you being homeless? Nope. So you were this healthy, hardworking guy, and yep. you weren't able to get a job, travel, do anything? Are you really telling me that? Yes. I, alcohol had nothing to do with it. Were you drinking? Nope. You didn't drink at all? I drank, but I didn't drink it when I was there. Did you tr drink after you got out and drink enough where you were nope. drunk at times? Nope. No. No drugs? No drugs. Nothing. So no. really, no, no, nothing holding you back whatsoever? That's right. OK. That, and you feel good about that? Anything you want to say? I wish I caught, got a hold of it, because I tried. Believe me, I, I honestly tried. So if you weren't working and you couldn't even support yourself, how were you paying child support? It's called back child support. I don't, don't care what you call it. If you're she homeless and you're not working, well, she, how did you pay it? Yeah, it could build up. I can understand. Yeah, you're wanted for back child support. You're wanted for a ton of dough. But how were you able to pay it if you don't work? When I was working, they were taking it out of my check. When was the last time you were working? Well, I'm working now. Yeah, but your son's not a little boy anymore. Well, I understand that. He's supporting himself. Back child support. Back child support. Yes. And how much do you owe? A lot. <laughs> Can you give me a rough number? Well, when, when, when it started, it was $80,000.
So now I'm that, making. I'm taking a guess. It's down to sixty thousand. You're down to sixty. Yes. So I would say that eighty was probably the whole thing, right? You never paid. I don't know how how they worked that thing. Okay? Yeah, you don't know a lot. Uh, and they so the state of Oregon is is taking money on my check every okay month. How do you feel that you weren't there at all for your son his whole life? Bad. Really? Yeah. Does it <laughs> eat, does it eat you up? Yeah. What, what? I don't believe you. That's why. Okay. I'm I'm telling you the truth, Steve. I, I don't know, 24 years goes by and not one success story in there about contacting her, contacting your son? Last time I, when I talked to him, it, the last time I talked to him, he was 10 years old. And they called me. I don't know where they got my number from. <laughs> and did you say, okay, you're 10. Where are you calling from? I want to stay in touch with you? Yes, I did. <laughs> they gave me a phone number. They gave me a phone number. I tried calling it back, and it was disconnected. Disconnected. So you're telling the truth about this rape? Yes. You didn't do it? No. And you're telling the truth about shaking your son? Yes. And you, when your wife said she must have told you at some point, I want to divorce you? She didn't say anything like that to me. What she did she just say? did it. She just did it. And what happened? You signed them? Yeah, OK, let's get divorced. What could I do? I mean, no, I'm asking what, you, what did you yeah, do? Yeah, I signed them. Okay. And did you, when you signed these divorce papers, did you say, okay, what's, what's my rights here? When am I going to see my son? I don't know. I had, they didn't tell me nothing. I have to, oh, I had in the documents. Oh, my God. Shake your head. Yeah, I, I don't believe it. I want to take some land and like that. That, you know what, that's how, that's how a father's not in their son's life for 24 years, because you don't have any answers. You tell me you're going to get divorced, and you don't ask why, you're, when you're going to get to see your son, now that you're getting divorced, and you say, well, nobody told me anything. I didn't know. I didn't know where she was. I was homeless. I couldn't support myself. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. And you wonder why I shake my head? There's two reasons I ain't humbled you yet. One. My mom and two. There ain't no fight in that shit. My heart's beating like a freight train right now. Would you like to go see a paramedic? We have the most passive Marine I've ever met in my life. <laughs> the most, you probably took the bayonet off the rifle, right? <laughs> unloaded the weapon, <laughs> shooting backwards. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you to leave my stage, and we're going to meet your ex-wife and find out what she has to say. All right, here's his ex-wife. This is Danny's mother, Cheryl. Let's bring her out. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Where is it? Were you, were you going to run? No, I was just going to go outside the other doors here. All right, so you have no intention of leaving. No, heck no. Okay. Because I would think after 24 years, this is your big chance well, to yeah, see your son. You're not going to run. I was just going to go outside. You know why you were going to oh. do that. There's nothing outside that door. Your son's not behind that door. I know that. <laughs> so about 24 years ago, Cheryl, you met uh, Steve, right? Young, good-looking Marine. Probably like that uniform on him, right? Yeah. Looked nice. Yeah. Married him. Yeah. Things going good. Get pregnant. Actually, he had to leave for Okinawa, which he did. And I didn't, I wrote to him constantly and talked to him when I could, but I didn't see him until he came back when Danny was two weeks old. Now, that night, the night he did get there, 
to Michigan. I was so excited. Because I, I you haven't seen him in a long time. He's no, deployed in Okinawa. And I adored him so and was your son born while he was overseas? Yeah. And so he, you he must got, have been excited. I went through the entire pregnancy without him and uh, had Danny and I I adored him so much and I was so happy to see him when he did get there. We had a nice night and we just kind of hung out and talked and watched TV and and uh, I held Dan and that was the only real family night we ever had. And it came time to crash. I laid Danny down in, in my room and uh, I guess, you know, Stephen had been away from his wife in Okinawa for a long time and he wanted to do some of the wild thing, you know, which I could understand, but I had just had a baby. Just two weeks before? Yeah, and, and I tried to explain to him, you know, that I, I couldn't do that. And he didn't listen. And I kept telling him no, and trying to push him off me. Danny was three feet away in the crib. And I thought, well, I could scream, because my dad was in the other room. He'd have come in there and killed him dead. You know, and, and I thought, how, what am I going to tell Danny if that happens? You know, so then it was just, by then it was pretty much done. The next morning, Danny woke up. I cried myself to sleep. Danny woke up and, and he was, you know, just kind of went for a little. He wanted his bath. So I asked Stephen to hold him so he wouldn't cry and I could go warm up his bottle. I went out in the kitchen and took the bottle out of the refrigerator and stuck it in the pan, you know, in the water. And I heard yelling. And I heard Stephen Tom yell at him to shut up. And okay, maybe I was a little docile uh, about the whole attacking me thing. But I got angry. And I looked down the hallway and he was shaking Danny. And I shot down the hallway and I took him away from him. And I'm, don't hold him again until you can act like a father. After that, later in the day, you know, he had, I had bought him some beer there before he came, you know, so he was like really sauced, really early. And then I realized he was nice when he was sauced. So uh, when he got low on beer, I was like, oh, you're out of beer. Let me get you a beer, honey. Do you need another one? Oh, look at this 12 pack is empty. I'll go get you another one. And because you were afraid of him sober, yeah. So I kept him toasted the entire time he was there. <laughs> and so I took we took him to the airport. And you know, dad drove me and him to the airport. And he's like, Just think, pretty soon you're gonna become living with me. I'm like, Yep, you know, because I wasn't even gonna. You know, he got, on, he got on the airplane. The next day, I went to a divorce lawyer. You know, my dad. If you're truly sorry, man up, or you will not have nothing to do with me or your granddaughter. The story doesn't end when our guests leave my stage. Stay tuned until the conclusion of the show. You'll never believe what's been going on since they left. As far as um, his claims that he didn't have no way to get a hold of Danny, he could have called. He had my parents' phone number. He could have called him anytime. I found him because Danny wanted him found. I called our divorce lawyer, his divorce lawyer. 
And I said, this is not about child support. I don't want nothing from him. But will you please give him this phone number so he can call Danny? Because Danny wants to talk to him. And how old was Danny at the time? I think he was like 10. And uh, he, and he did. He, and he called. And uh, he said he wanted to see Danny. You know, and Danny is really excited. So um, we offered to pay for what one way, either his airplane there or his airplane back, if he wanted to come see Danny. Well, then he said, well, I'll, I can't really afford a motel room or food. So I talked to my husband. And he said, yeah, you know, he can stay here if you can deal with that, honey. And I said, you'll be here. And yeah, you know, it's for Danny, yeah. Well, then he said he couldn't cover the, air, the other airfare. And I'm so like, as long as it was a, a full expense paid trip, then he was going to come see his son. Yeah. But other than that, he wasn't And I coming. thought, bull, pucky, you know. <laughs> And Danny had wanted one of those 64 things, Nintendo. And I'm like, Danny, this is the deal. Your father doesn't want to pay anything to come see you. And I think he's being a jerk. Now, I know you want that Nintendo really bad. If you think he's being a jerk, I'll get you the Nintendo. If you think that it's okay, that you still really want to see him bad, we will absolutely pay and we'll get him here and you can see him. Which, okay, maybe I shouldn't have offered the Nintendo. But I was angry, you know. And uh, he took the Nintendo. <laughs> We do the show and we bring people on and listen to both sides of the story. And to me, this one's real easy. You got a man on stage who his wife says he wants a divorce, doesn't know why, doesn't know when he's gonna ever see his child again, doesn't know why he hasn't seen his child in 24 years. I don't know. If that's his answer to everything. I don't know. I don't know. And then you have a woman that comes out and tells a story to the detail comes home, he did this, he did that. Times and dates, remembering how your father reacted. How is it one person can remember everything as opposed to somebody who can't give me a decent damn answer to anything? <laughs> Do you want me to bring out Steve? If you want. Uh, yeah. It's not what I want. Right. It's what you want. I think Are in you order okay to with get, it? if you're going to bring Danny out here, I want to be out here for him. Well, I'm going to bring Steve out first. I'm going to let you confront him before I bring Danny out. And I want to get to those lie detector results before I, I get to Danny. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring out your ex. Let's bring out Steve. It's going to be sensitive, Steve. <laughs> you okay there, Steve? Yeah. Thanks. My heart's beating like a freight train right well, now. Oh, I'm sure it would be. Kind of like after a three mile run, huh? You scared? Nervous. It's got to suck to hear the truth. But I didn't do any of those things. Or you don't remember doing them. You know what? I listened to that story, and I might be wrong. I could go out there and read those lie detector results and have egg on my face. You got, you got two choices right now. So you want to go out there and yeah, I'll go out there. see your ex-wife? <clears throat> do you want to see the son that you haven't seen in 24 years? Yes. 
If he chooses to see you, I can't promise that. Or would you like to go see a paramedic? I'll go out there. Uh, totally on, this is your decision. Let's go. I actually never thought that I would have to look at you again. So I feel a little odd about it at the same time. What happened between us happened between us. And I can let it go. But Danny's hurting. I don't want Danny hurting. Do you want him hurt? No. And I apologize for, you know, not trying to get old sooner. I... I've moved around so many times, you know, that I, you know, things get misplaced. Don't give me babbling bullpucky because I know better. <laughs> you could... Your father took a lie detector test. Did you shake your son, Daniel, and you answered no? And the result of your lie detector test is... There is an opportunity here. Danny's here. You're a grandfather. I mean, honestly, I'm not trying to be mean. What the hell do you care? <laughs> what do you care that your grandfather? <laughs> what the hell do you care? You haven't been a father for 24 years. You missed every day of your son's life. And why? Because you moved around a lot? Big deal. I'm gonna say this, show. You're one of the most believable, most well together people I've ever met in my life. I know you're telling the truth about everything. You said, though, this is an opportunity for your son. You wanna give your son whatever he wants, even after everything you've been through. So I'm not even gonna dignify for Steve your lie detector results. I'm not. I believe you. That's good enough for me. <laughs> You said that you're putting it past whatever happened between you and him, so I'm gonna let that go. That's between you and him, and that's in the past. What you wanna deal with is what he did to Danny, and we'll, we're gonna respond to that. Do you have enough strength in you to stand up for your lie detector results? Did you shake your son Daniel when he was an infant? And you answered no. And the result of your lie detector test is you didn't tell the truth. You didn't tell the truth. Don't, don't act like, you know, you're surprised. You know what you did. You know what you did when you came home. You know what you did as a Marine, you know, spending a year overseas, coming home, a little drunk, that's my wife. I'm going to get what I want. Baby crying a little too long, makes you mad. You're going to shake a baby. I didn't do that. You didn't do that. No. But you can't pass the lie detector test, huh? You listening to this woman's story the whole time she's been on on this stage? Yes. You believe her? No. I know I do. No. Oh, no. Okay. But what's the, what part of your story are we supposed to believe? The I don't know part?
So I'm going to go back now and see if your son wants to meet Mr. I don't know. See if he wants to. You got a great mom. And I respect the hell out of your mom. And she's mature and she's grown up. And she wants whatever you want. She wants to give you whatever you want. But whatever happened between, I believe your mom. There's no question. Your mom's telling the truth about everything. But as far as what your father did to you, shaking you, he took a lie detector test and he failed. He hasn't been in your life. I don't even know if this is a guy, just me personally speaking, I don't even know if I'd want a guy like that in my life around my kid. But it's your father, I know you've been hurt. So you want to see your father, you can go up on stage, but it's your decision what you want to do. Let's go. Sorry, Danny. Uh uh. Sorry, I ain't gonna cut it. I have a five month old daughter. The thought never crossed my mind to pick her up and shake her. Why? Why'd you do it? I didn't. <sighs> the lie detector test said you lied. Man up, tell the truth. If you want anything to do with me, if you want anything to do with <laughs> if you're truly sorry, man up, or you will, not, you will not have nothing to do with me or your granddaughter. OK, I lied. Cheryl, I'm very sorry. I really am. Can you ever forgive me? God says I have to. Can we be friends at least? Well, that's kind of pushing it. OK. <laughs> there ain't one day that I have not thought about you. Yes, I should have tried to get a hold of you a lot better than this. Uh, and yes, I, I, I guess I don't have any answers why I didn't do it. But I am, believe it, I am sorry. I am, like I said, I am very, very sorry. I apologize to, to your mom, and I apologize to you. 24 is a year, year is a little too late, huh? Yes, it is. You know, I... In front of your son, I'm just going to say it. I think you are a dirtbag. I think. <clears throat> I don't like any man that forces himself upon a woman, whether he's husband or not. She's a woman, and she has control over herself and what she chooses to do with her body. And I just don't like men that aren't there for their children, especially 24 years. There's no good excuse for anything you did up here. And Danny, I'm not telling you what to do. I know you've been hurt for a lot of years. And I know you've probably been waiting for this moment your whole life. And I know part of this show was if he passed the lie detector test, that he would get to see his granddaughter, your daughter, I'm, gonna, I'm going out on a limb here. I'm going to trust you just this once. So I'm going to let you go see. I'm going to let you see my daughter. I'm going to let you hold her. You want to go with them and take them to meet my daughter? Let's go, Mom. I got to say, you're one lucky bastard. Listen, 
you don't need me anymore at this point. I hope I helped you. I hope I helped you. I hope this helps your family in some way. But at this point, your mom did a great job raising a young man. And you can do everything on your own from this point and dealing with your father. And I commend you. You turned out to be a really good, really good guy. All right? Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. You did a great job raising your son. Thank you and bless you. Good luck to you. My little girl. Yes. Very good looking child, son. I, 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 I commend you. I have brought the father of my child here because he doesn't do nothing. Absolutely nothing nine for months her. Old. She's nine months old now. And he's never seen his baby. I just you know want what? him to, to do what he has to do as far as sending me money. What's his reason for not wanting to send money for his child? It's, it's just excuses, excuses, excuses. Are you going to let him see his baby? No, not, not unless he gives me money. Everything with you is give me money, damn, give me damn money. Damn right it is. Damn right it child. is expensive to have a child. I, I'm raising her by myself, and you're not doing anything. <laughs> Why punish the baby? Do you want to see your yes, baby? Yes, sir. Real bad. The, do you have a wallet on you? Yes, I got a wallet. Take your wallet out. I told you, show me the money, and then you will get to see the baby, Alvin. I told you. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Chantal. You're 19 years old. Why are you here? Because I have brought the father of my child here because he doesn't do nothing. Absolutely and your baby's nothing nine for months her. Old. She's nine months old now. It all started when it was two years ago when we started working. And he was the general manager over there, and I was a cashier. And then he started talking to me and flirting with me, and I gave in. And then we started dating, and then like four months passed, we started having sex, and then he would tell me that he loved me, and he wanted a baby for me. But I told him I was only 17 at the time, and I was still in high school, and I had plans for after high school. I wanted to go to college. And how old was he at the time? He was, he told me he was 27, but I found out later on that he was 32. Okay. Eventually, I started finding out his real age. I found out that he got three different mother or three different babies from three different women and he had got fired too on, on top of that from stealing the deposits and I didn't know nothing about that you know so then on top of that that was a turn off to me so I didn't want to be with him and then eventually he he wanted to go back to Georgia and he wanted me to go I don't want a guy like that to have to have three baby mamas, and then wanted a baby from me when, you know, I was only 17 and I had plans for my future. So before he went to Georgia, yes, I did have sex with him and... Why? why? Just to make him happy, I guess. But why, why would you care about making him happy? I mean, he's a thief. He's a guy going around having babies with all these women. Yeah. Why, why, why would you want to make him happy? How about making yourself happy? And, and, and believe me, and I'm on your side here, okay? I was naive at the time, though, Steve, you know, and I just did it. And so, yes, we had sex, and after the day we had sex, I stopped taking my birth control pills because I wasn't planning to have sex no more with, with nobody, you know? So a couple of months passed, and I started craving stuff, you know, and I, got, I found out I was pregnant. So I had told him that I was pregnant and he didn't seem, seem happy. Like how before when, when we was having sex and stuff, he wants a child for me. He wasn't happy like now, that. Did he, did he leave already? Yes. Okay, so you called him up on the phone. Yes. And you said, guess what, I'm pregnant. Yes. And he didn't seem happy at no. all. He was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, I'm serious. You messed up my future, you know? I mean, I love my baby to death, you know, but I mean. Well, this is the one you planned on. Yeah. And especially this young too, and I just had graduated, you know, and I wanted to go to college, but I can't, no. Don't worry about it. So 
So I told him that, and then he said he was going to do this and that for my baby as far as buying the baby stroller and, and car seat and crib. And I was working still while I was pregnant. I worked till my ninth month. Um, I still didn't receive anything, but he would text me and stuff saying that, um, that he, he wants to be with me and stuff. But why would you want to be with me if you still haven't done nothing for your child? So eight months go by, you're almost ready to give birth, and yes. he, hasn't, he didn't give you anything? Nothing still. Not one dollar? No. And he said he was working all the time. And Did he say, was he going to come up and be there for the birth of the baby? Yes, he did say that, but he never did. So that was just, that, that really, like, really pissed me off, you know? So I was all like, you're not going to see your, your child. You're not going to know her name until you give me money. And when she was three months, he finally gave in and he sent a hundred dollars. That's all he sent, you know, and and that's that, that's crazy, I think. So why why are you here today? I'm here because I want you to to tell him why why he should do something because he he is the father of of, of my so child. So you want him to provide for your child? Yes, and do what he's supposed to do, and do what he and do what he wanted to do in the first place. Have a baby from me. The baby's here already. What is he doing? Nothing. And so now your daughter's nine months. She's nine months now. So really, for the past eighteen months since you got pregnant, and now she's nine months old. Nothing. He hasn't done a hundred bucks. Ex except for a hundred dollars. And I had to pay for the stroller and everything like that, the, the crib. But I know that I have to, you know, because she's, she, she's my daughter, but I just didn't want nothing to do with him because he just sent a hundred dollars. Well, how are you supporting your daughter? I'm working two jobs. You work two jobs? Yes. Well, see, I mean, here's a young girl, 19 years old. I'm trying to do it by myself. And you're doing it by yourself, right? <laughs> While I'm working, my grandma, my father has to take care of the baby because I can't afford daycare for so my So your for family's her, helping you out? Yes. But the father's not? Yes. And he's never seen his baby? I sent him pictures on the phone. But he's never came and no. held his baby? He's never... Kissed he, his baby. No, he said in order for for him that I see it as in order for him to to do something for my child is for me to to have sex with him again. You haven't done nothing for her. Why it always got to be your way? Because I'm the mother and I, I I'm raising her by myself, and you're not doing anything. Do you want to see your yes, baby? Yes, sir. Real bad. The, do you have a wallet on you? Yes, I got a wallet. Take your wallet out. So he's telling you that he'll come back and he'll help support the baby. If he's if, with me. If you'll sleep with him. Yes. And what do you tell him? I tell him no, because... I tell him no because I already know what he's about. He already has three kids, and he says he's he works, but I don't see nothing coming in. And I think it's so crazy that how are you going to say that you work all the time? And he says that he doesn't have time to go to go wire money to me because it's so far away. It's, it's just excuses, 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 and I'm tired of it. <laughs> Why would you want a guy like this to have a relationship with your daughter? That's why I don't Or want do you want him to? No, I don't. I just don't want, want him to, to do what he has to do as far as sending me money. And then I try to tell him as far as like, uh, um, like. Let's say, let, let me ask you this. What if he starts sending you, you know, $400 a month? I mean, that might be crazy. I, I don't know. But I'm saying, what if he starts sending you a sum of money? that really helped you out, and he said, okay, I know I can't be with you, you made that perfectly clear, but I'm gonna do the right thing, and I'm gonna support your baby, our baby. That, that's awesome, that's all I want him to do. Would you, would you then let him have a relationship with your daughter? Of course, yeah. Do you, at some level, 
do you want him back? Like, do you think, like... I think about it all the time, but then, like, what he put me through, no, I don't. So you really don't want him back? No, I don't. And he says he loves me and stuff. How are you going to love somebody when you don't even support what you made for and what you said you wanted to, you know? And it's, it's so hard. It's so hard. And it's like when we talk on the phone, I don't even want to talk to him no more because he says the same thing. He says the same thing as far as, like, he doesn't want to, um, to, to send money or nothing. What's his reason for not wanting to send money for his child? Excuse because he, he can't drive all the way to the store and just put put money and wire it to me. And since this all happened, you have your baby, how has this affected you? It affected me because I'm working two, two jobs and my family is, is basically helping me support my child, what he should be doing, you know? And, it, and it's so hard for me. And then, Steve, you should see him... Like, sometimes he'd be having, like, watches and stuff, gold, gold in his mouth, thinking he's all hot, hot stuff and stuff, but he has a responsibility to do, and he, he, he doesn't do it. Do you know if he takes care of any of his other babies? No, but from what I know is his oldest one, or, yeah, his oldest one stays with his mom. Is your baby here today? Yes, she is. Are you going to let him see his baby? <laughs> no. Not, not unless he gives me money. And I know it's not all about money, but having a baby is all about money. She's growing up, you know, and, and it's so hard. I gotta buy formula all the time, and, and I'm working, and then I have to pay my bills. Well, maybe if he helped out a little bit, you could maybe work one job, and then you'd exactly. be able to spend more time with your child. Exactly. And then I, mean, I could put her in daycare and stuff, and then I want to go to school, so I have to put my school aside, you know? It just gets me very, very upset. What do you, when, when he comes out here, what do you, what do you think's going to happen? He's just going to stand there and say, and say the same thing. But what I want to tell him is... He needs to do something for his child or else he'll never see her. So if he doesn't give you money, there's no way no. you're going to let this guy see no. his baby. No. I don't blame you. And I'm, he thinks it's all about you. money, so it's not. If he takes his wallet out and gives you every dollar in it, will you let him see the baby? It's all your stuff here, right? <clears throat> Throw it up there, Mike. Can, okay. can I? Can yes, I go through all your stuff? Yes, sir. your chance. I want you to stand up. When he comes out there, I want you to confront him. I want you to be strong. Yes. Let's bring out Alvin. You should be ashamed of yourself, not doing nothing for your child. You wanted a child from me while we was in love, so-called, and now I have her. Now she's nine months, and all I get is $100. That's ridiculous. I don't appreciate you coming out of here lying on me like that. Lying? Are you serious? You're saying I'm lying? Yes, you lie. How? Let me know how. Because I've always tried to contact you. When I moved and back, say what? When I moved to Atlanta, I told you. When okay. You come here. I don't I'm want to. Take care I of don't you. want. Wh why do you want that? I don't want nothing to do with you, Alvin. I really don't. I while we was together, while we was together in Florida, right? You never took me out. We just went straight to your house and, you and relaxed. You why? know why? Because I was always working. So what? That was my job. That was your job. No, 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 no. You're supposed to take me out and, and give me everything, Alvin, if you so-called loved me. But as a GM, you know I had to be in there a certain number of hours. But you was never there, what, though. What, 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 you know what? What I don't understand is what we're Ex getting off track is you're this hardworking guy, right? Hmm. Yes, sir. And you're a GM of something, right? Right. Okay, so you're making a good buck, right? Yes, sir. I mean, have you? How much money have you sent to this young lady that you had a baby with? I sent a hundred dollars. In on nine Christmas. months since your baby's been why? born. Why? Yes, sir. Why a hundred? Why? Why only a hundred dollars? I've tried and tried and tried to contact her. But you I've want me to, to stay to with my... you? I don't want to be with you because we have a child. It's not about me, Alvin. It's about Taylor. Okay. What do you mean, okay? When, and you give me excuses all I the time. When I called you, when I called you, I tried to come see my baby. 
I drove to and Orlando. Then what, and then what do you ask me? When when I get the hotel room and when we spend time, are you going to spend the night? No, I don't want to spend the night okay, with you. Okay, it was all. Oh, exactly. It was all about um, having sex, right? No. So what was it about? I drove all the way to Orlando to see you and my baby. Why to see I me? I got down there. Why to see me? I don't want to see you. I wasted my gas and my time coming to see my baby. You wasted your gas and your time to see your baby. I didn't even get to see my baby. Exactly, but I mean, what are you, you talking didn't about? Have no money to give me. I had over a thousand dollars. But in you my didn't pocket. give me no money, Alvin. Because everything with you is give me money. Damn, give me damn money, right it and is. Then you'll damn see right your it child. is. It's expensive to have a child if you know you got three of them. I understand that. No, you don't understand. Yes, if I you do did, understand. No, you don't. Then you would be supporting her. And a hundred dollars, what what the hell is is a hundred dollars? That's half of what the baby needs, Alvin. That was just for Christmas. Chris, a hundred dollars. What the hell is a hundred dollars? Huh? Let, let, let me know, please. Okay. And what about when I say okay, I will come down, I will grab the baby. I'll take it to the mall shop. No, I don't, I don't need no, you. no, no, no. And I, I told you, I don't to... want just you and the baby. It's it's me and the baby. Why it can't be just me and her? Why? Why Why should I let you do that? Huh? If I'm the well, father, so I'm like, hold, hold on. You haven't done nothing, though. You've, you've never even met your baby, right? <laughs> yes, sir. You've never, never held, you've never held your baby. <laughs> right. So wouldn't, do you think that's wise that she's just going to turn over the baby to you? The baby's never met you, never seen you, and she's just going to let this nine-month-old baby be with the stranger. Do you really think that's a smart decision, if, Alvin? If I'm the father, I think it I doesn't matter. That right. This child doesn't know that you're the father. Exactly. You haven't been around. Exactly. If I came to be around, though, all my other kids know me. All your other kids know you. Them. Do you support all your other kids? Yes, I do. Stop you, lying. No, hold no, on a second. Don't. Hold on. Yes, I do. You write the checks, <laughs> and those checks right. are going. I pay child support for all and of them. And when they call me and need things, what I send it me? to them. So why what not this child? Why not this girl? Why not your child? I don't even know because my baby. he wants to be with me. Only That's thing I know I don't is the first be with name. Listen, I, first of all, I don't know. Elvin, Elvin, you were 33 or 32 years old when you seduced a 17-year-old girl. All right. We're not even going to get into that. You know what I mean? You seduced this young girl, and you got her pregnant, and that's your responsibility. You're bringing all these children into the world, and you're not, not there for any of them. You're down in Atlanta. Other people are raising your kids. Your mother's raising your oldest, right? Yes, sir. Okay, you're not raising them, right? I'm supporting them. You're though. supporting that's them. Right. So you're supporting that child. Then the other two, you say you give money. Do you have any proof of that? Yes, sir. And then I just got. Are you punishing? Are you punishing this baby because she won't be with you? Tell you the truth. Yeah, I thought like that. Why though? Yes. <laughs> this is your child we're talking about. No matter what your relationship with is her. That's what I'm saying. You it's not about this baby me anymore. Into this, world. <laughs> this is your flesh and blood. Why would you, no matter what, no matter what you want to be with her, or you want to try to punish? Why are you punishing the baby, Alvin? It really hurt me. You're really hurt. I'm really hurt. Just like Why that. do you deserve to see your baby, Alvin? Because I'm the father. You're not a father. You don't provide. You don't do anything. Nothing for your child. And you play a scam. <laughs> Alvin. You're really hurt. Yes, sir. How, uh, how hurt are you? <laughs> I'm hurt. You're so hurt that you're, you're sending money to make sure that baby's fed? Are you so hurt? Think about it. What does a child need more than anything in the world when it's born? They what, need their mother. They, they need their mother, right? <laughs> yes. Even if, uh, they need their father, but more than anything, baby they needs need their mother. mother. Yes. But because you're not supplying any money, you're not doing a thing and stepping up to the plate doing and sending for the money. Myself. This woman has to go out and work two jobs. So she has to spend most of her time working to support that baby. Mm -hmm. She's given her money to support that baby that the two of you brought into the world exactly. together. And you're not contributing a dime. A hundred bucks, hey, you don't get credit for that. That's a hundred bucks, too bad. That should be a hundred dollars a week. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's
just like with all, with all my other kids, you know, I know they socials, I know everything. At, at my new job I got, I make pretty decent. You know, I got my own place, everything. And they came around. They asked for, do we want to add our kids on insurance? I did that. Alvin, hold on. I sir. did that. Hey, you know what? Oh, and why Alvin, 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 hey, you know what? I, I don't want to hear the whole story. All I know is you don't send the money. You know where she's at. You can send the check, but you don't. And why don't you, Alvin? I don't even know my daughter's name. I know Tayyala. No. That's all you, I know. That's I don't why know you when sent she, the $100, because to get her name, Alvin. I don't know when that, she was that's born. It. I got to send you money for everything. Damn right. Of course. I know nothing is about that it. I don't know I who's walking. Wait, wait. I don't I know. Wait, wait. Why. About, whose fault is that? I don't think it's my fault. You don't think wow. it's your fault? Any normal woman, Alvin, regardless, this? they'll let you know the name or whatever. But Are you a man? No, well, hold on a second. Anything, Are you a man? No, yes, no he ain't. Do you think that's re yes. responsible, you know, that you're going around <laughs> and you're having sex with these women and you're bringing the children into the world and you're not there for them? Oh, yeah, I'm supporting them. I'm just not there being the father. <laughs> Was it a good decision to get a 17-year-old girl pregnant? Who had plans in the future was, for her? Or were you just being selfish? But, were you just being selfish as a man? I, I want to take care of my needs. I really don't care about her. I just want to take care of my needs. No, at the time I loved her. You loved her. Yes, sir. And so you loved her so much. You went to Atlanta and you found out she was pregnant and you sent in the last 18 months $100. That's real love. You know what real love is? Looking past the pettiness, the I can't have you. The, you know what? It's I'm gonna take care of my child. I'm gonna make sure it's fed no matter what. You know? She's, you know what? She's still a kid. She really is. She's still a kid. You're a grown man. Yeah, she is gonna be emotional. As a young mother, 19 years old, raising a child by, by herself, and then you, you got the dough, but you won't send it. So calm Because you want to hold dough. it over her head. And you know, yeah, you say you love her. You don't love her, you just want to sleep with her. Yes. That's the truth of it. And it's so pathetic. It's so pathetic, man. It's not about that anymore, I'm Alvin. over that now. Oh, now? I'm why, over that. Why now, though? Okay. Oh, huh? okay. Oh, if you're now. over that. Okay, now you're now over it, right? Yes. Then, then give her some money. It's not all about that. Then give her, then give your baby some money. I do what I gotta do, but I want to see my baby. You're not doing you, anything. I want to see her until you give me money, today Alvin. Before I leave. No, 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 no. Yes. What are you gonna I say see about her that? Today. You're not gonna see her unless I get money, Alvin. I know you. I know you must think it's all about money to me, but it's not. Did you ask him to come be with you when you delivered the baby? Yes. Why did no, you, you did not. But you, because I you called said, you. No, and but I you asked said you, Could though. I be there with you? And you told me no. I don't want you nowhere near me. Well, you I, tell me that all the time. Exactly. I, call I, I you. wonder why though, Alvin, because you don't do anything did you for ask your him, daughter. Did you ask him to be in the delivery room? Yes, I did. But then he, but then he got me so upset, you know, because he's saying the same thing, and I just didn't want him there. But still, if he really loved me and if it was that serious, you know, he would be there. You know, Elvin, you're a grown man. Yes, sir. Why, why, why does it take someone to say, Elvin, send money to your child? You know what? Start supporting your children. And I even asked her, if he comes out there and says, I'm not going to demand sex and I'm going to give you the money so you can take care of your child, she'll let you see the baby. Of course. So what's what and is the is problem there? It's all about here? money too, it's Alvin. It's all about it is, of that course. To you. Yes, damn right. It's it ain't nothing about, else about me okay, and you. Why no, it no, 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 no. Be, why it always got to be your way? Because I'm the mother and I, I had her, Alvin. I, I'm raising her by myself, and you're not doing anything. <laughs> And, that's what, and, and, and then on top of that, you, you, you want her to have your last name. Come on, are you serious? And then you want her, and then you want to file for her. No, you're not going to do that. Why should I let you do that? Let, please let me know. Because I'm the father. Because you're the freaking father. Are, are you serious? Yes. So what you're saying is you're just going to have babies and just ask the baby mamas to, to, to file the, their kids that you don't even support? You I can't do, do that. You don't support my kid. 
I don't even know your kid. So what though? You but it's your it kid. Her. It's Come your on. kid. You had the chance to see you and hold your daughter for the first time. And you didn't bring one damn dollar. What, I, what I'm not getting here is you don't seem like a dumb guy. And you work. You're not a bum. You go out, you're saying you're supporting your other kids. You go out, you make money, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and you're respectful, you call me sir. So you're not some, like, just bum that doesn't care and, you know. But how about, why punish the baby? That's what, that's all I want to get to. <laughs> why punish your child? Because no matter what your, you know, your problems with her, don't you as an adult, don't you as the 35-year-old rise above the pettiness and say, okay, you can even say, man, she drives me crazy, you know, and she's, but again, you're the one who, you got into a, a relationship with a teenager, you know, and teenagers mm -hmm. can't be emotional, and they probably get very emotional when they're out working two jobs and they don't have a support system. She's too young to be having a child at 17. You caused that to happen. You caused her to act this way. <laughs> she feels alone. You leave. You go to Atlanta. So what I'm saying is, it's real simple to correct this problem here. You want to see your child? Do you want to see your yes, baby? Yes, sir. Real bad. The, do you have a wallet on you? Yes, I got a wallet. Take your wallet out. I Take your it. wallet out. <laughs> Nothing funny, Alvin. Nothing funny. Here. He says he's got a wallet. If he takes his wallet out and gives you every dollar in it, will you let him see the baby? Yes, I would. Will let you let him. him hold the baby? Yes. If he takes his wallet out right now and gives you every dollar in that wallet, you're on tape, you're agreeing to let him see his baby. Yes. And we'll go straight back to the green room. though let's see nine months hundred bucks nothing in there I didn't bring nothing with me why cuz I didn't cuz you knew how come how, how would you come to Chicago and not bring a dollar with you I didn't bring anything with me why I just didn't come on Alvin and then why you didn't you bring anything mm -hmm. with you I just didn't you got a watch on you <laughs> I didn't bring nothing nothing cuz maybe you thought Steve's gonna ask me to give something up. <laughs> no. No. It's a grown man, 35 years old, he's a GM, and he comes to Chicago and doesn't bring a dollar in his no, pocket. I work at a chemical plant now. So you but you're GM of a chemical plant, right? Or you work at the chemical plant. Yes, sir. You work 40 hour a week? Um, 48. 48. So you get a little overtime, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. So you're making a decent buck, right? Yes, sir. Okay. You grown man, you come to Chicago, not one stinking dollar on you. And bring anything with hmm. you. ain't gonna really? see my baby then. Uh, so if you were thirsty or you know got hungry or anything and we weren't around, how were you gonna feed yourself? When he even came. You wouldn't even have came. Not to see your baby. No. Mm. You see? Because I figured we'd settle that at home. You sell that at home? Yes, sir. You, why didn't you settle at home for the previous nine months, the previous 18 months? I tried and I tried and I tried. You tried and you tried to and tried. To get back with me. When you sent no, that $100, when you sent that $100, why didn't you send $200? Why didn't you send $500? Why didn't you send $1,000? Exactly. Why didn't you send 1000 bucks? Here, this should cover a couple months. Okay. I sent her that 100 and the next thing I know, hey, she gave me just the first name of the baby, not even the middle name. I don't know a social security number. You got an ATM, I don't know anything. You got an ATM card on you? No, I don't even. Just... <laughs> you don't have an ATM card. All my you money see is how home. cheap he is? He, but, but he works so much hours, Steve. And he Seriously, can't. Alvin, you came here because you said you wanted to see your baby. All my money is home. I don't use a bank. You don't use I a bank. I got a safe. You got a safe. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. it stays in that safe, right? That's where it stays. And that baby can't get any access to that money, can it? Can't nobody get it. Can't nobody. But not me. even your own children. Just me. Not even your own children. I you mean, they, I'll give it to them. Well, but, the, why know. not? Well, you know what the purpose of the show was. 
You didn't think that maybe that, that was a possibility? That once you held your child, you'd want to give her some money? Tell you the truth, I didn't think she asked for anything today. Oh. I didn't. You thought that you were going to come here. I flew you up here, right? You're going to come up here on my dime. And that you just come up here and, oh, I want to see my baby. That and then easy. I was just going to do it without <laughs> you giving her one dime. The one time I did go, I you had a thousand know dollars in my yeah, pocket. Yeah, a thousand bucks. But and you just didn't show me it, though. I told you, show me the money, and then you will get to see the baby, oh, Alvin. I told you. This is, this is all your stuff here, right? <clears throat> Throw it up there, Mike. <laughs> Got on a plane, and you came to Chicago with no ATM card, and not one single dollar. You want to go through, can I go through all your stuff? Hey. You can, can? Can I? Can yes, I go sir. through all your stuff? Yes, sir. I'm a man of my word. And if you don't, I promise I'm going to show up there with a lot of cameras, and I will embarrass you, and I will make you look like a fool. I promise you that. You got a cell phone in here. Mike, why don't you help me? You can start going through that bag. This is Officer Mike McDermott. We used to work together as police officers. It's, it's, almost, it's almost hard to believe that you would come to Chicago with not even a dollar. Don't you like to have a drink or two? No, I don't really drink. Oh, wow. Here's a pay stub. Mm, perfect. What do you make in a week? Well, you know, you can afford a child on, you're almost making 2000 a week. <laughs> right? Here's his pay stuff right here. Make it almost, you brought it, you didn't bring a dollar, but you brought a paycheck. You pay a, a paycheck stub. What was the point of that? To show you. Ooh, look what you can have if you sleep with me again. Was that not, what it was? It's not all about that anymore. It's not all about that anymore. No, sir. You made some pretty good money so far this year. Working a lot of overtime. You're making a damn good buck. And, and on here, you provide child support. Yes. For one of your children. That's right. But you won't put that child on here. You won't make sure that money goes to that child. Why is that? Well, you brought a nice laptop for yourself. Good, you know, brush, make sure you look good. Maybe you run into another 17-year-old. <laughs> you, just, you just wanted to come with me. I'm not giving anything. You're going to have sex with me, and I'll, then I'll, I'll see my baby. Did you think that was the plan? No. You tell me what the plan was then. I was expecting us to come here, resolve everything. I Trying see my to. baby, and we go back home. Hmm. You go back home. That's Just right. like Why that. do you deserve to see your baby? Because. Because you impregnated a 17-year-old? That's why? Because you that's what you deserve? It's not all about that. Well, what is it about, Alvin? Because I'm the father. Because you're the father. I think I deserve that right. And you know, you're the father. You know what? You're not a father. Exactly. You don't provide. That's, you only get to claim the title of father if you provide for exactly. your child, if that child feels love. You don't do anything, nothing for your child. And you play a scam. You come here on my show, 35-year-old man doesn't bring one single dollar, not one George Washington in his pocket. And boy, that just happened by accident, huh? That just happened by accident. You planned for it. Because you don't want to give up anything. No, that's not true. Yeah, but you, you, you'll you take my plane ticket. You'll fly to Chicago. We'll give you a nice, comfortable hotel room to stay in, right? We fed you, right? Right? Yeah. We fed you good? Did you have a nice meal? Yes, sir. Yeah. Just like that baby wants to be taken care of. Yeah. So, you know, 
I'm kind of like your daddy here in Chicago. <laughs> I'm paying for your food. I'm putting you up and I'm paying for your place. I'm doing more for you than you do for your child. So you should say, you are my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm acting more of a father to you than you do to your own daughter. It sickens me that I fed you. It sickens me that I gave you a plane ticket, that I flew you up here. It sickens me that a grown man wouldn't bring money and he hasn't seen, and you had the chance. You had the chance to see you and hold your daughter for the first time. And you didn't bring one damn dollar. I want to see my baby. You want to see your baby. Yes. You tell, me, tell her what you're going to do. He's telling me he tell, wants to see the baby. Come tell, on. Tell her what you're going to do right now. What are you going to do for your baby? From now on. From now on what? I'm going to provide for my baby. Well, until then, then you, you, you won't see your baby. Don't do that. No, I am going to do that. You, not nine months, well, 18 months while I was pregnant, didn't do nothing for me. After I had the baby, didn't do nothing for me. So why should I let you see the baby? I want you to look in my eyes and tell me the truth. You didn't bring any money because you didn't want to give her any money. That's, That's the truth true. of it. That's why you didn't dip into your safe and take a few dollars out. I bet you if I went through every grown man in this audience, mm -hmm. every one of them has at least one dollar on their pocket. Okay. And they're not a thousand miles away from home. So what I want you to do is to apologize to her for what you've done. And I want you to mean it. I want you to tell her, I'm sorry that I have not supported my baby. I'm sorry for that. I apologize for this whole situation. For getting pregnant. Oh, so what you realized, saying? I realized it was a mistake, you know? And now I'm going to do all I can to provide for now. my baby. Now, you promised me that that pay stub, when you go back, the first day that you go back to work, that you're going to put that baby, you're going to put that baby on and you're going to pay for that baby too. You promise me you're going to do that. And then you promise her. And if it's okay with you, because what I'll do for you, what I'll do for you is if he doesn't, and I you call. I don't believe him, Steve. I'm telling I you, don't believe listen him. to me. This is the offer I'm giving you. If he doesn't do that, I will personally fly to Atlanta and go to his company and make sure Alvin puts your baby on. Put that baby on. I would do that, but no buts. I'm not. No okay. buts. Okay. No buts. I'm gonna do it. And I'll I'm tell you what. And I'm gonna tell you, Alvin. I'm a man of my word. And if you don't, I promise I'm gonna show up there with a lot of cameras, and I will embarrass you, and I will make you look like a fool. I promise you that. Okay? I'm gonna do it. I hope so. Because if you don't. What I'm saying is, I mean, though. You don't mind if I keep the pay stub? Do you mind if I keep the pay stub so I can make sure that you pay? You can keep it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now, I know where he works, and I know how much money he makes. And like I said, it's nothing for me to get on a plane and come down with some cameras, and we'll film the end of the show with Alvin not paying if he doesn't pay. <laughs> That'll be the end of the show. Alvin not paying. And then every girl out there in America, take a good look at Alvin. Do not sleep with this man. <laughs> but if you're saying you're going to do the right thing, and that's what I'll do for you. I'll do all that for you. Okay. If you want to, that's your choice to let him see his baby. 
Uh, yeah, I will. Because if he doesn't say nothing, then... I'm you're... going. Let's go. Let's go. All right, okay. That beautiful little girl. <laughs> you go by her so you know that it's okay, so your daughter feels safe. You go by her too. You take her. You take her and you give it to him. Oh, baby, you okay? I know. In I know introduce baby. your daughter to her father. Baby, this is your, your, your daddy. Doesn't she look just like you? Huh? Yes. No, no yelling, no yelling in front of the baby. We don't want to scare the baby. You look just like you, from baby. I know, I know. I know. She looks just like you. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. Who doesn't want to? I don't think she wants it. I don't think she wants it. I think you know, you know, you need to do all of it. I know, baby, I you need know. to start being in that baby's life no matter what you can do. You need to spend some time. You need to start supporting her. And you know what? When she's a little more comfortable and you're actually around her and she knows who her father is, then maybe she'll willingly come into your arms. All right? Yes, sir. You make sure because I will come down to Atlanta. You better put her on and pay for that baby. Where's Daddy? Daddy? Juanita, why are you here today? To confront my dad about my mother's murder. I have nothing to do with her death at all. I know my father would never do nothing like that. He used to beat her. He, he used, used to, to beat, beat her, abuse her. And before the show, you took a lie detector test, right? Yes, sir. Do you know who killed her? And then I'm here to confirm about being a dad, be dad. You abandoned your children when they needed you the most. You weren't there for them. I'm the one that been a father to them. I'm the one when she ran away, went looking for her. Their mother was brutally murdered. My mother's murder, and... You think that your father murdered your mother? Yes, I think he, he murdered my mother. And then I'm here to confirm about being a dad, be dad. Being a deadbeat dad. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's kind of uh, a shocking thing to think that your own father, you think that he had something to do with your mother's death? Yes. Why do you believe that? Because he was doing drugs, he was running around, he got her on drugs. So I'm thinking that maybe he set her up. He didn't pay somebody their money. In exchange, he gave them her. He used to beat her. He, he used, used to, to beat, beat her, abuse her. Beat her while she was pregnant. And, and we was around. We, we tried helping and hitting him with shovels and everything to get him off of her. When's the last time you saw your father? It's been a long time. It's been a long time? <laughs> yeah. And how long ago did your, your mother, uh, she was, murdered. the medical examiner says that your mother was, was murdered. Mm -hmm. How long ago did that happen? Ten. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. And you ever able to ask your dad about it? Every time I try asking him, talking about it, he always try to switch the subject. And you must, you're 17 years old now. You were a young girl when this happened, <coughs> losing your mother, especially in a violent way like that. Has it affected you? Yes, it affected me a lot. I, I was running away and everything, and depressed, and wasn't going to school, nothing. Was your father there at all for you after your mother? No, after two, after two weeks after her funeral, she, he came. He came over two weeks after. And he he didn't go stay. to the funeral? He didn't even go to the funeral. What did you hear about your mother's death? I heard that she was beaten to death and they don't 
they that she was beaten to death in the alley, and she was pushed out of a car. And anybody ever arrested for this, or? No. And you believe in that th your father had something to do with yeah, it? Yeah, I strongly, strongly believe. And since then, what 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 kind of relationship have you had with your father? I have had no relationship with him. I don't talk to him. Does he ever give you or your siblings any money or? No. He just. He uh, takes money from us. He takes money from you. Yeah. How does he take money from you? He asks, okay, let me borrow a couple of dollars, knowing that we just got some money or something, and he'll spend it. He's like, I'll give it back. Does he take it? And what does your father? Does he work? Does he do anything? Oh, now he's working. Now he's working. He got his own apartment and everything, and he still can't do nothing. He still. It's like the kids that had nobody to depend on. You have siblings, right? Yeah. And you have one sister, Nora? Yeah. And how's your relationship with her? It's been downhill ever since I, you know, ran, you know, did, got into all the bad stuff I was doing. It's, it, was, it's going, it went downhill. What kind of bad stuff were you getting into? Like runaway drugs and You were doing drugs drinking. too? Yeah. Have you able to straighten yourself out or oh yeah I straightened myself out I'm now in I'm this is my last year of high school and you know I plan on going to college I'm a CNA now I'm planning on doing things in my life. so I'm told you're upset with your sister why are you upset with Nora because I don't understand why she's here with him or when it should be she's she here be. she's taking your father's side of the yes. story yes and, and that upsets you? Yes. And why does that upset you? Because she know and I know the things that we done went through with him. And you, you say this relationship between your parents was really violent. Did you, yeah. did you witness the violence? Yes. I mean, it sounds like it did. You're saying you, you as kids mm -hmm. were picking up shovels and- Hitting them with it, trying to get them off my mom. Do you want a relationship with your father? Yeah, I want a relationship with him. I Why? Do. I want to try to work something out. But if you really truly believed he murdered believe, your mother. Yeah, I believe that he did it. And I, and if it come back that he didn't, then I want to try to at least try to fix it if I could try to make. How would you fix it? Counseling. Could he could he step in at this point? Could he be a father? I mean, everything that you said, it's like, it just sounds like a violent guy that's just coming in and out of your life. Like, like a revolving door. No, I don't, it's, it's not, um, I don't think so. It's not going to work. But You'd I like to have somebody in your life. Yeah, but the thing, no, I have my grandmother in my life. That's the person that's been there for me. So. You've had somebody then. Yeah. And. If you could have anything happen today, what would it be? For me to find out everything, the truth. You'd like your father like to come truth. clean to you. Come clean. Lay it. I want everything. All right, well, let's bring out your sister and let's hear what she has to say. Like that about your own father, though. What is your Why saying? would you think that he Nora. has something to do he with do. this? No, he, he might don't. have something to do what? with it. No, he yes. don't. Yes. It ain't yes, no do. might. You, yes, you just do. want attention. No, That's I don't all want you attention. Want. I don't want yes, attention. Yes, it is what it I is. I want the truth all to come want. out. There ain't no That's truth. That's what I want. Ain't no, ain't don't be in denial. Don't don't be in denial. Don't put that on your dad. I ain't trying to say he was a good dad or nothing like that. He was a no good dad. No, but he, no, no. But don't sit right there. Was you right there, little girl? No, you was not. You no, you was not. Still. You was not right there. How would you know? You was a little girl at the time. Yeah. Now, you hear your sister come out, both of your young girls when you lose your mother, to a violent death, right? Yes. She's under impression that your father either did it or had something to do with it because of his actions. And you feel completely opposite? No, I know my father would never do nothing like that. She just want attention, why do attention. You, why do you think, here's your chance now. Why do you think that he had nothing to do with it? 
because my father, every time he look at a picture of my mom, he cries. Every time her birthday comes up around December, he cries. He brings her up, he cries. My dad and my mom, they love each other. I don't know why okay, she would say something on, hold like on, hold that. Hold on, hold on. Well, she tells stories of that your father was very violent to her. Is that true? Is it um, true? Yes, they were. They fought a little or whatever, but the way she put it, no, it didn't go like that. Both of them, they argue and they push each other and everything, but no, it was, was no punch beat up or nothing. No shovels beating your father no, off? No, no. Yes, it was. Why you say that she's doing this for attention? Because that's all Juanita ever does. She's been doing it for years for attention. Every Everything she done did has been because of attention. And your relationship with your father is... It's, it's okay, but it's not all that. I'm not close with my dad like that. She says he's, you know, has been a good father, been a deadbeat. And your feelings about him as far as being a father? It's like, I, I, yeah, I talk to him and I tell him, yeah, you need to pay attention more and you need, to, you need to stop trying to be a friend to your kids and start being a real father. You have not been around. You need to start trying to be there, and I tell him that. And what does I, he say today? He, he, my father, he just, he don't, he just is like, he'll go through one ear and out the other. Did you know your parent? if your parents were on drugs? Yes, they were. Both of them? Yes. Is it possible when you're involved in drugs that, you know, maybe a deal gone bad, who knows? You hear about it all the time in the news. Somebody stiff somebody, some, no, they come um, back, they get somebody. First off, my dad was no, nowhere around. My dad was nowhere around at all to know anything. My, he, my mother wasn't in contact with him at the time So at they were all. like split up? Yeah, they split up. He was somewhere and she was somewhere. Now your dad, he took a lie detector test before the show. Yes. And what if it comes back and he fails this test? It'd just be a shock, but I know he wouldn't fail it because I, I know, I know my dad shock, wouldn't do nothing like that. But would it change your feelings at all, or? Yes, it would. I look at him in in shock, like why would you do something like that? But I know my father; he would never do or that. Or be involved in any way. Yes, I know my father; he wouldn't do so that. So you're saying he might you not be a good father, father, but he ain't been. He a might not have life. been a good father, but he what loved my about? mom. I know that. Now, they here's, love, here's, love here's, that much to be here's, at, right? here what I'm a little confused about is you both kind of agree that he hasn't been the best father to you. If the two of you and your sisters, you're so close in age, how come there's, how come you guys can't make it work? You both lost your mother at a young age. Your father hasn't been around. I would think more than anything that you would find time for the, the family that you have remaining. She's kind of, I think she's hurt. Maybe she, she wants the attention. But maybe it's the attention of an older sister that she wants. Well, oh, thank you. So I'm it's, not gonna I'm just, not gonna go. I have I'm sorry, but I gotta I gotta go to school. I have a life to deal with right now. I done dealt with her all of, um, back in the past and everything. I can't do it no more. I'm not putting myself in that position anymore. I'm not doing it. So what what, I'm, what are enough, your feelings towards your sister? My, what's my feelings yeah, towards her? Yeah, what's your feelings? That, uh, no, I love my sister. Okay. I, I, all I'm saying is I think it's a shame that you can't reach out to each other. You can't be sisters. I, there's no reason for you not to be loving sisters. I would have a decent sisters. relationship with Nora. I would love to. She, she just don't know how. She just don't know how. You just, now, now, Juanita, do you base this... You, your allegation on any kind of evidence, somebody saying something to you, anything at all besides just a feeling? I just got that feeling that he had something to do with it. He couldn't have been involved. He was not around to be able to do something like that. Well, if, if she know. had a problem, if she if she never mentioned this about any, oh, to anybody in this family, I ever, mentioned it. I mentioned ever. it. I mentioned it. You're just really ridiculous. No, I'm not ridiculous. Yes, I'm you is. You, yeah, yo, you're, you're trying ridiculous. to find some attention. That's what no, you're trying to find. No, ain't nobody trying to find no yes, attention. I'm trying to find so, yeah, closure okay, for all sure. of us. Yeah. For all you of us. You have a lot of hostility towards your sister, though. Yes. Because she done did so much stuff in life to mess me up. Okay. She done That's all you got. That's all you got. To hurt me. I'm tired of you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, what I want to do is I, I, wanna, I want you to ask you to leave the stage for a second. I'm going to talk to you, so I'll bring you back out, okay? <laughs> Just tell me calmly, what did she do to you? Juanita done ran away. She had me hurt. 
she ran away. I never knew where she was at. I thought she was gonna die or get killed or something out there. We never knew what happened to her. She could have been dead somewhere in the alley or something, somewhere. Run away, not going to school, skipping school, making me miss school because she lying, saying stuff about just, just, Juanita is just ridiculous. I, just, I'm, I'm not, I just don't want to deal with it no more. I, know, I already got enough stress. I don't need her more to add have more see, to it. Have you seen any changes there that now she's not running away? She, to, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems to me that she's mm -hmm. trying to reach out to you. Well, if she was trying to reach out to me, she could have talked to me on the phone and talked to me, called me or she's, something. She's she here don't now. never call. She don't. She's here she now. She always come out small. I'm busy. Oh, I got to go to work and da da da. But I. I Nora, she's here now. <sighs> does does that mean anything to you, or? It's it's just uh, the way she the way she's here is not good to me because I didn't. I you didn't, know what? Her mother died when she was a young girl. Maybe. May, uh, lay, let's hope your dad passes the lie detector test. It gives your, your little sister some closure and she can move on with her life. Well, I know my father passed the test. I know he will pass the test. Go right. I'll bring her back out. I, I want to I wanna bring your Juanita back out. Let's bring Juanita back out. <laughs> Explain to your sister why you felt the need to do this today. Why don't you tell her why you need this? Because I want to find out what happened to my mommy. That's been on my head for years. Well, for years. then you, you should have came at that at a different way. <clears throat> you could have came at that in a totally different way. Not your father. Don't come at your father because you feel bad that he hasn't been there for you. Don't That's say something. Don't reason. say he did something like that that bad. Yeah, you can say he ain't been there, but don't never say no, he that, killed your <clears throat> own mom. You could have went at him in a whole totally different way. Nope. How you know about Child my, support or something. Know, do something else besides that. How you know about my mommy rolling out of a car? How you know my mom get pushed the out of a car? The man lived on the, on the street for a year to try to find out who killed your mom. No, I don't yes, believe that. Yes, there is. No, oh, my gosh. That. How would you know? That. Oh, oh he can take that. a lie detector to that thing, and then he will pass it. I don't it. believe that. I'm going to ask both of you to leave the stage. I'm going to bring your father out, and at some point, we'll bring both of you out. All right, let's bring uh, Juanita and Nora's father out. Let's bring Eric out. How you doing, Eric? How you doing, sir? Um, how, you, how you doing? Now, at one point, you know your daughters here today, both saying that, one, right off the bat, that you haven't kind of been there for them. They both, let me finish, um, seven and nine years old, they lose their mother to a violent death. Um, your one daughter says, no way in hell is dad involved in this. Your other daughter says, I got a feeling somehow because my dad was involved with drugs or whatever, he was involved in my mother's death. She feels that way. She's got no evidence, not based on anything. And before the show, you took a lie detector test, right? Yes, sir. And we'll get to those results. Did you have anything remotely possible with your wife's death? No, I did not have nothing to do not with my wife's death. My wife was the love of my heart. She was the love of your heart? Yes, she was. Now, both of your daughters have said you had been violent with your wife. Push up, but not violent enough to be hitting. hitting so you weren't punching her, no. slapping her? No. And were you both under the use of drugs at the time? We. Oui. That's it? Yes. So you're you're with your wife, right? How many children did you have with her? Uh, total five. Five children with yeah. her. And how would you describe the relationship? Good, bad? Up and downs. And at the time? But still, that still was my love of my heart. I, still, I always loved her with all my heart. And at some point when she was murdered, where were you? Like, were you? We, in, we separated. And you were just gone, or? Yeah, I was just gone. Were you, were you in the city still, or? Uh, I was still in the city. You find out your, your wife, the love of your life, has been murdered, right? Yes. Has to be shocking to you? Hurt me pretty bad. It was pretty bad? Yes, sir. Why didn't you attend her funeral? I didn't find out till after the funeral. You didn't find out till after the funeral? After the funeral. Nobody picked up the phone? None of your was children? No, was nobody with No relatives? 
You didn't see a newspaper, the news, nothing? Nothing. And how long ago, how long after her murder did you find out? Uh, a week, two weeks after her murder. And so the funeral was over with? The funeral was over with. Did any of your children know how to find you? No, not really. They were too young. How old was your oldest at the time? <laughs> My oldest was probably about 11, 10. You're telling me your 11-year-old <laughs> daughter didn't have a phone number, a way to contact you? I did not get touched. Why, why wouldn't you have a way for your children to contact you? You're their father. <laughs> you just said, you know, there's no way to get a hold of daddy if you need me, if you really need me, if God forbid something bad happens, this is how you get a hold of me? I never left them no way for them to get in touch with me. That's pretty cold, isn't it? Yes, sir. Since your wife's death, have you done anything, the love of your life, have you done anything to find out? Yeah, I, I was out there a year trying to find out who killed her. And how were you trying to do that? Uh, going through her, her, her friends that she used to go hang out with and stuff like that, but they never gave me no information. Everybody just said nothing? No, we, they just they ignored me. Is it that. possible any kind of drug use was involved in her death? Uh, probably, I guess so. Were you ever questioned as a suspect? Yeah, I was. And you were clear? Right, 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 right sure that I found out, I found out that the, the detectives were looking for me. And so you went in and you yeah, got in? so I went in and cleared myself. And from the time you broke up to the time of her death, how, how, how long of a time frame was that? Uh, a month. A month? Since now, you lose, you lose the love of your life, the mother of your children. <coughs> it's been 10 years. Why haven't you been in your, your children's lives? Because after I lost her, uh, I really wasn't thinking right, wasn't, wasn't in the right track. Yeah, but if you're not the one taking care of them, who's going to take care of your children? Well, uh, the grandmother had them. She took a custody of them. I understand. And, okay. and thank God for that woman that she took your children in and she's taking care of them. But you, you as a father, you have no feelings towards that? I mean, all I'm yeah, hearing I is did. Yeah, you're I not, you're not, too. yeah, but I keep hearing not a good dad, borrowing money from your children. Why do you need to borrow money from your children for? Mm, no, I was borrowing money just probably just for uh, a couple of dollars for gas. I don't care what you were borrowing, you borrow money from your children. Have you ever been a good father? Not really. I can admit that. Is there anything preventing you now, today, from being a good dad? No. So why don't you be a good dad? I try, I, I'm there. That's the reason I moved from, where, moved from where I was to be with my, my kids. When's the last time you talked with Juanita? Uh, December. So it's been? April, really. April the 1st. But before that, before quite a that, while. Before that, December. Well, let's bring Juanita out. She wanted to talk to you. Let's bring her out and hear what she has to say. Okay. I hate you for what you did and what you're doing. What am I doing? You hurting all of us, and you know that. Well, Why have you been? Do you know, do you even know how old I am now? Yes, I do. Do you know? Do you know anything about me? No, you don't, cause you don't try. You don't even you try to find out. You don't try. Somebody try. No. No, you the father. You the father. You you try to get in touch with your child. You the father. You, you, you the father. Yeah, you try to get in touch with me. You try to make some type of effort. If if I'm not, if you think that I'm not trying to be there, you try to make that make that happen. If you really want to be in my life, I do want to be. In if my life. you really do. You know, Eric. Here's a, here's your daughter, and she comes out. You haven't seen her forever, and you don't get up to give your daughter a hug. You don't get up and say, I'm sorry for what I did. I'm going to try. Boy, that's, that's effort, man. Dang. That's effort. It's to take somebody to tell you to get up and hug your daughter. It shouldn't even take that. Do you feel comfortable sitting down while your daughter's standing there crying? 
Are hey, you, I'm, I, that hurts me. Well, you know what? Get your ass up out of my chair. Yeah. Run away from your daughter? Look, I'm not you must be good I'm at it because I'm you've not, been doing it for I'm ten not here years. I'm not argue fight with nobody. Okay, I want to get an understanding. Fight for your daughter. You're not gonna argue and fight. You're going. Your daughter's crying over there. Baby, I love you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes, if I you do. did, you would have been done trying something a long time ago. A long time ago. Where was you at to even pick me up? You know, when I ran away. That was your time to run in and be daddy. Save that and save your daughter. Why are you do that? At least I tried to come at you. What you no, thought? You thought no, ignored no, me. No, you ignored no, no. me and did not want to listen to me. Yes, it was no, like that. And no, you know that like perfectly that. well. No, yes, it was. No, it was not like that. It was not like that. I wanted you to come and find me, but you didn't. You didn't. You're how, talking about. How can I when I was way in the Chicago? You make it. You make a way to come get your daughter. Uh, had, you had, had, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And you think I was not worried about you or what? And you was that worried huh? you about the way. You would have found the way. You thinking, you ain't, is you not thinking like, oh, she might be hurt or something. You that worried, then come and find me then. If that's how you feel. But you didn't feel that way. Yes, I did. No, you did not. Yes, I did. No, you did not because you did not put no yes, effort in trying to. Yes, I did. And you, don't, you, you the one that made me do all you. Made me do all this. Cause ain't nobody in my life. Me? I, nobody, I made you do this. There ain't nobody. Yeah, you know what? I gotta to say, it. yeah, you're responsible mm -hmm. because you're the father. And she's a young girl. Maybe, maybe you didn't make her enforce her, but you know what? You didn't do anything else. You didn't make sure she didn't run away. You didn't make sure that she was going to school, that she was doing the right things. You weren't being dead. Their mother was brutally murdered. And nobody could get a hold of you. The police couldn't even track you down. You're responsible. That's your daughter, and because you weren't around, she made mistakes. Who the hell was there to help her? Her mother was killed. You weren't around. Your own daughter thinks you're involved in her mother's murder. Yeah. You're the only living parent here. Mother's been gone for 10 years. You're daddy. Daddy hasn't been around. Maybe that's why she ran away, because she wanted Daddy to come save her. Daddy wasn't around. Maybe if I run away, Daddy will get concerned and show me some attention. Did you did you go find your daughter? Did you even know that she was gone? Yes, I did know she did was gone. Did you go look for her? No. Did you go look for her? No, sir. Why wouldn't you go look well, for your daughter? I was daughter? keeping in touch with the family to find you, out what was going on. You were keeping in touch with the family? You'll go look for this alleged murderer of your wife, but you won't go look for your daughter that's still alive, that's out there? Yeah. Anything at all you want to say to comfort your daughter? That I love her. Okay, oh. sorry. It's easy to say. There you go. You don't care about me. Yes, I do. You don't care about none of your kids. Yes, I do. Just if you did, you would do something about it. You got a job and you can't afford nothing for them. Your daughter asked you to buy her a five dollar how a five dollar school ID. And you can't even get that and you just got paid that day. And you telling me you love your kids, five dollars ain't nothing. What you wanna do? What you mean what I wanna do? It's what you gotta do. Well, it's what I you need to I do. I had no problem with that. Now you you got a brother in the audience? No, I have an uncle in the audience. You have an uncle? Yes. This is my mother's brother. This is your mother's brother. So you want to stand up? And why is all his kids living with uh, the grandmother? Um, at the time, him and my sister both was on drugs. It wasn't, it wasn't no marijuana. It was. No, it wasn't no marijuana. 
It was not marijuana. Not marijuana when you leave your kids alone. And my mama got to be the one to take care of them. When I got to be a father. I'm the one that been a father to them. I'm the one when she ran away, went looking for her. Why is that, that anger not directed at your father? You got your daughters hating each other because of you. How does it feel for another man to stand up here and say, I had to, take, I had to be a father to your children? Not right. Not but good. it doesn't seem like it bothers you. It does bother me. Really? It sure does. How what? bad does it bother you? It bothers me very much. I mean, can you fill us in on what drug do you think it was? I think it was crack. No. The, the other thing I, is, Juanita, I'm very proud of you. I'm very yeah. proud of you. I'm, pr I'm proud of you because Regardless of all that you done been doing, all the things that you done did in the past, yes, it was hard when my, when, my, when my niece ran away. It was tough on her family. But she straightened up. She, she started going to school. She, she done got her CNA. She's working now, and she got plans on going to college. So I'm proud. And that's a father. As a, fa as a father, as a father, the first thing you should have said to your daughter is, I'm proud of you, because you know that she done did those things. I know that. See, see, that right there, that right there makes you not look like a father. And I say, maybe you and my sister got together young, and y'all got started on those drugs and that crack cocaine young. But now it's now. The past is the past. What you doing now? You're not doing nothing now, man. My it's kids like gonna cool. always know who their father is. What, 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 what I'm looking at is when you gonna step up to the plate and be a father. Yeah. I am that. It's a choice. Huh? It's a choice. So, so you can change if you want to. I am. That. They say you can't teach old dog new tricks. It's up to that dog to teach itself. Yeah. Can you step over here for a second? Can you step right over here. You came here. You wanted him to take a lie detector test about the allegations. You say that he might. You have a belief inside you that he might have some involvement. Here's a young woman that needs somebody to stand by her, and I think you're a good person to stand by her for these results. Take, take notes. Take notes. Cause that's how a father acts right there. Let's bring out your other daughter, Nora. She might be interested in these results also. I'm gonna hug. The results of Eric's lie detector test. You were asked, did you physically abuse your ex-girlfriend, Gloria? during your six-term relationship, the mother of these two young women, right? Yes. You answered no. Did you have any involvement in Gloria's death? You answered no. Are you protecting anyone involved in Gloria's death? You answered no. And the results of those lie detector tests is that Eric told the truth. Now, you were further asked, did you get Gloria hooked on any drug other than marijuana? You answered no. Do you know who murdered Gloria? You answered no. Do you know more about Gloria's death than you are telling? And you answered no. And the results of those lie detector test results are that you're not telling the truth. What? What? No, I don't think so. It's impossible. Possible. I wouldn't do nothing with her death. I would do that with my heart. Do you know who did it? Hmm? 
Do you know who killed her? Do I have? Do I know who do killed her? Do you know her? who killed her? No, I do not. <laughs> Nora, how do you feel about your dad failing that part of the test? He passed He passed some questions, but he failed the others. It's, it's unbelievable, and why would it be false? Why would it be a lie? Why would you lie if it's... I have no reason to lie. I have nothing to do with it to my wife. I wouldn't have hurt her for nothing in the world. Do you know who murdered your... No, I do not. Do you know more than you're telling us? No, I do not. But know. you failed that on the test. I don't know why. You don't know why? Nah, did, how did you were able to pass the other questions? I have no idea. I have nothing to do with her death at all. I know you don't, you're saying you don't have anything to do with it, but do you have any knowledge? No, I do not. Wouldn't you owe that to your daughters, not being a good father, maybe clearing it up? <laughs> Pass what information you have on so your daughters can go well, out and I don't have mother? no information at all. Want <laughs> anything you want to say to your father? <laughs> oh, you dumb. I hate you. You know, you a liar. I don't know nothing. I don't want nothing to do with you until you tell the truth. Well, I can't know nothing what I can say because I don't know have nothing to do with that. Tell the dad. truth. That's all you need to do. I am telling tell the, the truth. truth. You lie. That, that chat said you lie. You lie. Hey, I'm grown. I ain't got to talk to you. No, no, I don't. You no, know you are grown. So get your ass off my stage. <laughs> You abandoned your children <laughs> when when they needed you the most. You weren't there for them. When your daughter ran away and she wanted you to come rescue her, you never made no effort. You didn't even attend the the mother of your children's funeral. So is it is it anything in your life that you could say, believe me, I'm a stand up guy. Look what I've done in my life. Give me the benefit of doubt. There's nothing that anybody on the stage has get, said anything about you, including yourself, have said anything where we can believe one word that comes out of your mouth. You believe it? You see that? I'm sorry, but I don't want to be bothered with you. Don't say nothing to me. I'm not saying right here. What I don't get, what I don't get is you're so hostile towards her. Why do you hate me? Here this guy what fails. Hold on, Let's hold on, Juanita. Here. Why is that, that anger not directed at your father? No, we ain't. I'm grown. I ain't got to talk to you. When, oh, no, I don't. That's you know what? You are grown, so get your ass off my yeah. stage. The reason why I want you to stay on stage because I want to ask you, this is this was your sister, right? You hear that the man that she was involved with, he comes out here, he, he basically abandons your sister, he abandons his children as her brother. How does that make you feel? I'm speechless, you know, because I basically don't want to say anything to incriminate myself. But with that said, you know how I feel. I don't have nothing to do with your sister's death. You think that lie just said, then I said, ooh. I don't have nothing to do with her death no. at all. I don't know where the world around to be even around for that to Why happen. Why you can't look us in the eyes, then? I am looking in your eyes. <laughs> the good thing is, you got somebody that loves you and does take care of you. Take her and keep being the role model in her life. Thank you. You can take her off stage. Thanks for coming on. I hope this helped you a little bit, okay? Good luck to you, okay? Good luck to you. I, I, I will never get, I could do a thousand of these shows, and I never know how men can stand on a stage and just so blasé say, I wasn't there for my kids. 
you got to live with it. Those are your kids on my stage crying. Those are your your children that have no relationship with each other because you haven't been involved in their life. You got your your you got your daughters hating each other, sisters that don't like each other because of you. That's what you did. That